Hello everybody, I'm uh, building on my Minecraft city today. Um, I don't really expect many people to watch because it's like 1pm, people are probably all busy, but no one really watches no matter what time we stream, so I thought, you know what, I'd just um, build for a little bit because I built around this time yesterday, had a lot of fun just building like kind of off stream, um, and I sort of thought to myself, why not kind of do the same thing again, like kind of act as if I'm not streaming um, unless anybody does want to watch and to comment and stuff and then i will obviously read chat but yeah i'm going to be building on the city uh we're going to be doing some storage area um and some kind of work on like the kitchen area uh and hopefully we're just going to have a bit of fun i am going to actually start off by making a copy of the world hold up one second and then we will get straight into the stream but yeah i was going to stream later but to be honest with you yesterday's stream was really dead despite it being a more reasonable time where i thought more people would be able to watch so I've sort of given up caring at what time I go live and I'm just going to stream when I want to because it seems like whenever we stream, it seems really random if anyone actually watches um, or if no one watches, uh, which I don't know if that's YouTube's fault. I don't know if that's just people not wanting to watch streams' fault, but yeah, we'll just stream whenever I feel like it at this point. I was going to, like my plan was going to be to do like a certain time every day because people kept asking for a schedule, but then I gave people a day's warning yesterday of when I was going to go live and no one else, no one extra tuned in. It felt just as dead, if not more dead than like the random spontaneous streams. So I don't really want to say, oh, I'm going to stream every day at 7 p.m. or whatever, and then like no one watch anyway. Um, because you know, if I'm if I'm waiting all day to live stream, and then no one watches the streams anyway. I feel really sad because I'm like, well, I've kind of been putting this off all day streaming, and then no one watches anyway. Or I've been waiting all week to stream on a certain day, and no one watches anyway. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna stream when I want to, to be honest with you. Um, yeah. <laughs> Hello there, Stealthy. Hello, Ian. How are you both doing? Probably the only two viewers of the stream because it's so early, but uh, welcome. Right. I am building the storage section of the kitchen like we were last stream. I want to get this finished um, today. And uh, I might even go work on some command block stuff later on the stream. I don't know. I, 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 I might. I really need to try and get some command block stuff done on stream because I have no videos that I want to do at the moment. And if I force myself to do the commands on stream, maybe I'll actually force myself to do the video because I haven't posted in like two weeks. <laughs> I'm really struggling for motivation to post at the moment again. I know I know that happens to me like every couple of weeks for a week or two, but I, I hate myself when I don't post. But at the same time, I don't want to force myself to post. I feel like that's like a bad idea. Right, let's do this. Awesome. There you go. There's the walk-in freezer done. Cool. We now need to do like the cooker, some area to prepare food, some areas to prepare food, that sort of uh, sort of thing. Can I join? Yeah, sure. Oh wait, no, because I need to reload Minecraft and you can. Or can I just sign in somehow? Hold up, is there a sign-in button? Nope. Don't know why it does that sometimes. But yeah, then sure. Just bear with me one second. I don't want to schedule though, Ian. People just kept telling me to do to like let them know when I was gonna be live. But like, because you and Tonzi were telling me to make a schedule or like to at least alert people when I was going to be live like a day or, or at least some time beforehand. Was kind of my point. But it felt like we had less viewers doing that. I mean, I could stick to that. But to be honest with you, I really didn't enjoy yesterday's stream because I felt forced to stream. Like, I, I, like, I'd already worked on the world a lot because I wanted to work on the world. So I was like, okay, I feel motivated to play Minecraft. We'll play Minecraft off stream. And then by the time it came to the stream, I just felt really kind of bored because it felt really quiet, but I also wasn't in the mood to play the game, like just play the game. Like I feel like today, like I'm in more of a mood to just play Minecraft because I haven't played it yet and I want to get this finished. Like I woke up more motivated, but I feel like like yesterday, for example, like I didn't feel motivated because I didn't really want to stream at that particular time. Like I wanted to stream the day before when I scheduled the stream and I wanted to stream um, 
that morning or that afternoon but by the time like 7 p.m actually came around i was like i don't really want to stream now but I've, i'm gonna let people down if i don't because i've had, had it scheduled for a day and it turned out no one watched in a way or no one really cared in a way so i kind of wish i just hadn't streamed <laughs> but uh but yeah And you say in it, yeah? I, I always spell it wrong now. My nails irritating me. Yeah, one of my one of my, my one of my uh, finger ones at the moment are a little bit too. <sighs> but I think it's get, I think it's slowly getting better. So yesterday and the day before, I couldn't like hold anything with that one. But the problem is, I don't see these other streamers who have schedules in the Minecraft community have more viewers. I mean, sure, some of them have slightly more viewers, but not like... It's not a crazy amount of more viewers. You know, some of these streamers... Like, streamers that I've seen stick to a schedule for, like, months even of, like, a certain time going live, they might get maybe... Maybe if they're lucky, they may, might get, like, 10 concurrent viewers, whereas maybe I get, like, 5... Sometimes they might get up to like 15 at a peak, but then sometimes we get up to like 10 at a peak or sometimes even 20 we get up to as a peak, right? Like from what I've noticed, it doesn't seem to work anymore. I feel like that, I feel like the schedule, I feel like a schedule doesn't work for chill streams like this. If the streams were properly produced, if we actually had stuff to do on the streams that were more interesting than like reading chat, you know, like a snapshot stream. If we do a snapshot stream every week at a set time, yes, that could do way better. But no one's going to want to tune in even even every week or every day to a stream where I'm just building a city or just playing survival or that sort of stuff. But there's not really a lot of like more produced streams that I can do because I just don't know what people want. I've asked people loads. The only thing people say is playing with viewers, but that still fits into that chill category where no one's going to come back day after day or week after week. Or even if we did monthly streams, no one's going to come back month after month to just watch someone like play on a realm or whatever. And plus, if I played on the realm, like if I made a base on the realm, streamed it once a month to try have a set schedule, everyone else would have already made so much progress or the realm's going to be reset after like two or three streams into realms reset every like three months. I just... I just don't see the point of doing like a schedule because it hasn't worked for like friends of mine who've done it. And I just feel like I then feel forced to stream. And then if I feel forced to stream, the streams are just always so, so like negative or so like, you know, I'm just always moaning about there being no viewers if, if I'm, if I'm streaming and I just don't really want to stream that particular day. Like, I wouldn't mind doing a schedule if, like, people actually watched, but we can't even do a schedule because everyone's free at different times. Like, I ask people, when do we do a schedule? Some people like 7 p.m., some people like 2 p.m., some people like, I'm eating here, I'm, this is way too late, this is way too too early. I just can't work out a good time for everybody that also works for me, to be honest with you. I mean, I'm going to be honest, the best time that works for me would probably be around this time of day because, like, because, you know, I, I like, this is, like, kind of, like, like, the best time for me streaming-wise in an ideal world, if people would watch me no matter when, would probably be from about 12 to about, like, 4 my time um, in the day, right? Oh, I mean, obviously, that's not when people are going to be free because that's when people are, like, working or busy or whatever. But that would probably be the ultimate best time for me um, to stream for, like, 3 or 4 hours then, or maybe even longer. But, like, because if I stream too late in the evenings, like, if I stream at, like, 10 p.m., 11 p.m., I've got to be quiet because my family is starting to sleep. And like, if the streams are popping off, you know, I would, I would be like, well, the streams are popping off right now, you know, like, like I'm, I'm, I'm quite, quite working or whatever. The streams are doing well, but I, I can't really turn around to my family and be like, I've got to be loud, I've got a live stream when there's like two people watching a stream, if you know what I'm saying. Um, yeah. I'm not trying to complain, by the way, in this stream. That really wasn't my motive. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to be in a good mood today. I'm just explaining why I don't really want to do a schedule because I feel like it ruins the quality of the streams and anyone that I've seen do one doesn't really work. Hasn't really worked out for them. Um... 
when the 1.22 snapshots come out, I will start to do weekly snapshot streams. But I don't really see the point of doing them right now because we're now at the stage where it's just bug fixes. And to be honest with you, the snapshot streams get more views usually, but the, but the chat's still just as dead. Like we might have 20 viewers, but no one really is typing still. From what I've observed and kind of what um, kind of what Stealthy's also kind of observed and said to me. But the chat might be a bit more active, some snapshot streams, but it feels like it's still very dead. Like despite having like 10, sometimes 10 times as many viewers as what we get here on these normal streams. Like sometimes we'll have 20, 30, 40 viewers on those streams. But it still doesn't feel like a community because those people don't come back to other streams. They only really care about the snapshot ones. And like, yeah. But no one's gonna put no one's gonna put watching a Minecraft stream into a routine. Is my point because no one does for any other of these Minecraft streamers I've watched. Like these streams are not these streams are not worthy of someone marking out days on their week every day for for a stream. I've said this for years. The streams aren't good enough, but I don't know how to make the streams better. Like no one's gonna mark out like every week. Oh, I'm watching Dan for an hour or two hours or whatever. The streams just aren't, the streams just generally aren't good enough. But then no one gives me feedback of what they actually want to see, you know? If the streams were, like, good enough, if the streams were, like, if there was actually something, like, worthy of people marking out time on their week, sure. But, like, yeah, there just isn't. There's nothing like to really stream these days, I feel like. I feel like no one really wants to watch someone. In, in the TikTok era, I don't think people want to go watch some guy play Minecraft for hours. Or there's very few people that do. But then, like, there's not really a lot of other stuff to do. Even the playing with your viewer, even with the, even the playing with viewer stuff doesn't even do that well anymore. Yo, what's up, Jay? How's it going? Sorry, we're we're in a um, discussion right now. You're more than welcome to join in, though. How are you? Just imagine for a second that instead of like re uh, relying on YouTube to tell people you're when you're live, but they just know uh, you're live without even talking to you. But I feel like people. This is going to sound really daft, but people know I'm live from the Discord and still don't watch. Like, mods will spam in the Discord or, like, or like viewers will spam in the Discord and no one watches. And they're meant to be people in the community who a lot of the time say they care about me or care about the channel. Are you a human? No. Um, yeah. Like, people, people, people honestly just don't really care about the streams anymore, Ian. I don't think... I think this is kind of an outdated thing. I think I'm now, like, an older generation and, like... And like back when I back back like I still love watching live streams like this. I still love watching the chill live streams. I don't want to watch someone like try and be really good at PvP or whatever. Like I love the chilled Minecraft streams, but I honestly think I'm in the minority now. I feel like most people don't want to watch someone play Minecraft. Like I used to love watching people play Minecraft, and I still do, and just chill and just vibe with the chat. But I think this is now an outdated. I sort of feel like this to some degrees, like how radio is in the mainstream. I think I think live streaming is dying. To be honest with you. But my problem is, is that I am not, I, I don't, I don't have enough video ideas to like just do videos every single day. And I always burn out. If I do videos every single day, I burn out after a couple of days. So I don't really want to do videos every single day. And like, I feel like I need to abandon the streams. I've fought this for ages, but like to stop streaming altogether. But because I feel like it probably is also hurting the channel because so many notifications are going out so frequently. Um, and we tried streaming on Twitch and stuff, and that hasn't solved the problem of getting more people and stuff. And that's built for live streaming. Um, so yeah, I have I have thought about like giving up, but I just love I just see for some reason I'm so addicted to streaming. Like I said to this to Selfie yesterday in DMs, I need to almost make a video announcing that I'm quitting, and hopefully that makes me feel more obligated to stick to quitting the streams and just like no longer stream because. Honestly, I've felt like this for like the last month or two or last couple of months. Like I've wanted to quit streaming. It's just not really that fun anymore. Like it's not fun when no one's really watching. There's nothing really to to, to stream. It's 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 sort of starting to feel like a chore to stream. 
but the problem is i do love the going live i love hitting that go live button but i feel so sad as soon as i hit go live but i know i won't stick to like taking a break or like quitting or whatever and every time i announce oh, i'm gonna stop streaming people are like no i love your streams but then those people never watch the streams it's always the same two or three people or four or five people that pop in and out of the streams like you know and I'm not blaming for anyone not watching those streams. Like I said, like I don't think I think this is a I think this is a dead genre. I don't, I don't think live streaming is really chill anymore. But this was just, this has just always been my attempt to try grow a community and try grow an audience for the channel. Because obviously with tutorial videos, you don't really grow an audience or like an active audience. So this was always my attempt, you know, to like try and build a bit of a community. But it feels like it's it feels like we don't really even have a community here. It feels like on the Discord server, like we have a bit of a community, but none of them ever watch the streams. And you know, I don't know. I'm happy though. I'm not overly, but I'm as happy as I always am. There we go. We'll do this side as well. It's 7 a.m. right now. Yeah, I know. But I know the time's awful for people. But no matter what time I stream, no one watches. So I thought I'd just stream and it was convenient for me for a change. <laughs> Instead of like trying to schedule a stream a day in advance and then still no one watching. Um... I've been saying that you're making Minecraft um, only videos. You're missing the point. You're completely missing the point of what I'm saying. I don't think that Minecraft's dying. Well, Minecraft isn't as popular as it once was, but there is still many popular Minecraft channels out there. What's dying is the live streaming format of like just playing a game and live streaming it, in my opinion. Because all these huge streamers, which I don't really have any to name, but all these huge streamers, right? They're all the only reason they're getting viewers on streams is because they're doing in real life content. I mean, if, if anyone wants to prove me wrong there, you can. I don't know any successful streamers that dedicate themselves to gaming, though, at the moment. Like back in Fortnite, there was a bunch of streamers who were like gaming streamers who were blowing up. But it feels like at the moment, everybody who's a successful streamer does in real life content. It feels like gaming in general is dying. Unless you're like a professional esports player or something and happen to stream on the side. They're the only streamers that I see pull good, pull decent viewers and actually grow. And obviously some streamers that have been successful for like years and blew up years ago when it was a bit easier or whatever. But it, 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 it feels like, it feels like at least on YouTube, there's not many successful streamers. I mean, there's no other games I want to play either. If there was, I would play other games, but there is no other games that I want to play. I've been, I've been searching for games. I have been looking for games. There's nothing I want to, there's no, there's no games I want to play, but um, and whenever we do play something else other than than Minecraft, people are like, why are you not streaming Minecraft? So, yeah. I think I'd, I think I'd have to make a new channel if I wanted to do a new game. But then every, every game we did, we'd have to make a new channel and that would just get super, like, annoying. Let's get a lever. Let's get a trapdoor. But yeah, you're, you're kind of missing the point. I'm not saying that Minecraft's dead. I don't think Minecraft is dead. Right? I'm saying that I I'm saying that I personally think that I personally think live streaming in this this way is dead. Yeah, but I can't stream at a good time for Americans because a good time for Americans would be like 2 a.m. for me, I feel like. I mean I could stream for 2 a.m., but then like none of the European viewers can watch. Like Stealthy, I doubt would watch me at 2 a.m. and he's my most active viewer. You know, Goat's one of my most active viewers. Um and probably wouldn't be able to watch at 2 a.m. But like, it seems like if I stream at 7, that's that's still too early for Americans, which is obviously understandable if you're busy, but I can't make, I can't be perfect for every time zone. And it feels like, to be honest with you, there's more British people active or like European people active on the Discord and active in the streams, even when I do stream at like weekends at like reasonable times for Americans. So it makes more sense to prioritize the UK and like the 
the European people if they're more active, like, in the community, it seems. Like, the Discord always dies, like, late at night, it feels. I don't know if that's the case right now because I know it's been a bit more active with the realm, but the Discord always used to die at, like, like 12 or whatever when all the European people went off. And that's, like, open 24-7, you know? W me? No, but Stealthy, you see my point? No, I can't get a good time. This is why a schedule doesn't work. Because I, if I do a schedule, I've got to alienate like 90% of my, like, or with like 50% of my audience, if not more, no matter what. 2 p.m. for me is usually, the most active streams are usually 2 p.m., which I know it's not 2 p.m. quite yet. It, we've still got another 20 minutes. But the most active times for streams for me are usually between 2 and 4 p.m. or 2 and 5 p.m. And then. Probably around like eight, seven to eight p.m. ish, right? Because seven to like seven to ten p.m. would be like you'd get the European people before they start heading to sleep, but you'd also get all the American people. Um, but I, like the problem is with seven p.m. to like ten p.m. is that's when everybody streams, and I feel like there's so much competition because we tried streaming at seven to eight yesterday, right? And I was thinking of loading up another stream once I got back. I didn't actually end up going for a very long walk because my brother got cold. He didn't take a. He was wearing shorts. Um, stupid webby. Um, no, my brother's lovely, but he was wearing shorts, so you know we didn't we didn't actually we didn't actually go very far. So I could have started streaming again, but I sort of didn't really feel up to it yesterday. Maybe I should have loaded up another stream, but I just felt myself in a bad mood yesterday, to be honest with you. Like when I'd streamed, um, so I sort of decided not to load up another stream straight away. But yeah. Do some kind of event like a ten-hour stream. We could do like a 12 hour stream or something. Even then though, when we've done that in the past, no one watches. But there's nothing new or different to do here and everything's been done. We could try another 12 hour stream. We could try another we could try another twelve we could try another twelve hour stream. I've not done one of those in like a year. See, I would say we'd do it to where likes would extend the stream, but people are just gonna go on loads of accounts and like and then not watch. And I don't really want to do it to where donos extend the stream either, because if we did one to where the donations would extend the stream, I've got a feeling someone like Bacon will just come in and complete the goal like instantly. Which again would defeat the whole purpose, but then I don't want to make the goal too expensive because, like, then what if no one like hits any of it? It's it's like difficult because I've been wanting, I've been thinking of doing like a subathon or something, right? So if people want to, the stream to continue, they can like donate gift memberships or like whatever to make streams continue, but like. I don't know what amount to set it to because in my opinion it should be fairly cheap because we don't really get many viewers but then someone's going to come and hit it all and then we're going to be streaming and the stream's still going to be dead like the whole point of a subathon is that like people watch to see if the stream continues to like get involved or whatever you know a straight up 12 hour stream I, I wouldn't be against trying a 12 hour stream but I don't think it's worth it unless we unless people are actually going to want to watch it you know I guess it would be a good way to see what time of day is most active, but I feel like the beginning of the day will just be most active. But then you get money, so win-win, true. We could try it. We could try a stream, like a, just a straight up like 12 hour stream or something. I don't know if I'd want to do a sub though. Um, well, look, I'll start streaming the snapshots every week. There's not one this week, I don't think, which is why I didn't stream it. But the problem is the snapshots are just all bug fixes at the moment. They're all really boring. So I thought, kind of thought like people would and get annoyed at me for like clickbaiting the snapshots being really cool. It's kind of those streams are all clickbaiting and hyping people up for a snapshot, but the snapshots aren't going to be very cool at the moment. 
and there's no guarantee there's always one every Wednesday, especially towards the end of an update. They become like pre-releases or release candidates, and then there's no guarantee. Like, so I stopped doing those streams. But that my idea is to eventually make that like the my idea is to eventually make that like the the weekly streams that are like scheduled. That's my eventual. That is my eventual like plan. Have like the snapshots be my weekly thing, but then when there's not a snapshot, I don't know what to do, or when the snapshot's really bad, or when the snapshot releases really early. And like, I didn't even really feel that happy about the snapshot streams. Like, they do work, they do well, or a lot of the time they do well, but I just still didn't really enjoy them. We had way more viewers. It still felt really dead. It kind of felt like forced. Like the snapshot streams are fun if people are asking questions or if there's like topics to talk about, but it sort of felt like it just became the same question every single week of, is Minecraft adding a new boss? We don't know. I don't work for Mojang. Is Minecraft adding a new dimension? You know? Like, we can theorize, and my theory is always no, because they haven't said they're adding one, but then people are like, but you never, you never hyped up about these updates. Minecraft could be adding a new dimension. But we could try the snapshot streams. I did at one point enjoy the snapshot streams. I just stopped doing them because they started to feel like they were kind of becoming like a bit of a chore. But we could we could try them because they were getting the most viewership out of anything. <laughs> it's Minecraft having a new boss. Ah. Oh. Technically, they did, didn't they? Thinking about it. The April Fool's one. <laughs> Man, I've got no problem with people asking questions on those snapshot streams, by the way, but it's the fact that people try and read into anything Mojang do way too much. Like, people try and read into, like, ah. Oh. Um, yeah, people try and read into, like, the littlest of details and make it seem like it confirms that Minecraft's adding a new boss. Like, the most absolutely, like, tiny detail. People are like, oh, this is a new boss coming to Minecraft. Or Minecraft said five years ago they're adding a new dimension eventually, maybe. Maybe. So they're, they're going to add one this update. And then people get disappointed when the stuff they theorize in their head is coming to the game, when it doesn't come, when Mojang never said it's coming. And then you get all these hate comments being like, OMG, why are you streaming the snapshot? It's so... Mojang are so lazy, they're just adding, like... They're just adding, um, they're just doing bug fixes. Like, oh, Mojang should add more content as if this update isn't like the largest Minecraft update in years or like isn't like one that they put a lot of time into. And they've done relatively quickly as well um, compared to other updates. Like we're already done with all the major features. Normally there's another like month of development yet, you know? People were asking for quicker updates and Mojang have been trying to deliver quicker updates, it seems. Obviously I don't work on Mojang. I can't say that for sure, but it seems like Mojang are trying to work on quicker updates and then people are still like, oh, Mojang are so lazy. Or people were complaining because the 1.20.5 update's coming out soon before 1.20 comes out, and it's adding like the new wolves and the new and the new wolf armor and the armadillos. And people were complaining because they're like, why don't you guys just focus on 1.21 and wait to release this with all the other content? It makes no sense to have an update now and an update again in a month. Those same people, like Mojang are so lazy, they never release enough updates. They only update the game once a year. Oh, Mojang should do more updates. But then the Mojang are doing another update, listening to the community or the community as a whole. And then people are complaining because they're doing more updates. It really frustrates me. I love... I love the people who are in this community and who are active on the streams and the videos, but it feels like the Minecraft community in a whole is just so toxic right now and so, like, entitled. It's really, it's really driving me crazy. Because <laughs> I've been in this community for years and, of course, there's always been, like, you know, people entitled or whatever or toxicity, but it feels like it's getting so much worse and it's so annoying because, like... There's these accounts on, like, Twitter and stuff, or X or whatever, which I'm sure have always existed, but they've, it feels like they're getting more and more popular. Or people are starting to take what they say as, like, fact, and I'm like... Oh. Right, we, 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 I won't rant to you, I won't rant to you guys, because you guys aren't the issue, ultimately. But it's... It's really starting to drive me crazy. I don't, I don't know why it's affecting me so much, but... I just really feel bad for Mojang, to be honest with you. Oh, I feel I feel bad for the individuals at Mojang who get like abuse thrown at them or whatever because something that was promised years ago. Some of the stuff that people demand was promised before like Mojang even properly worked on the game and it was all just notch. And people still hold Mojang accountable for it.
Um. Why are you mad that Mojang's fixing bugs? Isn't that good? Oh no, I'm not mad that Mojang are fixing bugs. I'm mad that when they do a bug fix snapshot, people complain that they don't, that they're lazy. I'm personally cool with bug fix snapshots, but I'm saying I don't really want to stream them every week because then people moan at me. People moan at me because I'm I, because there's no new content. And then people moan at Mojang because there's no new content. And I don't want to hype up a snapshot and just get people annoyed at me or annoyed at Mojang. Even though I literally have no say in it and Mojang should do bug fix snapshots. Those same people are people that complain that the game's too laggy as well. But then they complain that Mojang like, don't do any new content every snapshot. But yeah, no, I'm, I'm completely... I'm, I'm all for uh, bug fix snapshots or bug fixes. I'm saying my issue isn't that. My issue is people who moan at Mojang for being lazy. I, I, I would be all for an update that just optimizes the game and that just bug fixes and that like adds quality of life changes or updates old features. I've been saying that for years. I'd love an update that just adds old features. Uh, so be like makes old features more useful, or, like uh, um, improves them rather than adding brand new content. But the majority of the community just see Mojang as lazy if they don't. What's your most recent build in the city? Um, this. It's uh, what was my most recent build before this? I genuinely can't remember. Um, here's an example of a bug that was fun. Uh, renaming nine diamonds in an anvil uh, would allow you to. What? Would allow you to chart using those diamonds forever? I'll keep, I think. Okay. Good morning, good morning, how are you? I'm all for bug fixes though. I feel like I feel like I didn't explain that very well. I'm just saying like the reason I don't do the weekly snapshot streams every week is because I feel like we're now just getting bug fixes. And I feel like there's not a lot of content in that. I feel like people just get mad at me whenever I uh, cover the bug fixes. I know you guys probably wouldn't because you guys are watching a stream where it's not a snapshot stream anyway. But I feel like I feel like so many people just get mad at me and then start saying merging are lazy, and then it just starts a whole like chain reaction in the chat. If anyone if anyone is watching, it starts a whole like fight in the chat every time of like merging is so lazy. And I'm like they're not lazy; they're just doing bug fixes, which is what the game needs at this point. Because the update's already been developed and people are like, but Mojang haven't added five new dimensions, five new bosses, ten new ores, ten new biomes this update. They're so lazy. And I'm sure we'd all love more and more Minecraft updates, more content, right? Like we're, we're, all, we're all agreeing in that, but we also need bug fixes and like changes. Good morning, I'm at school. My phone's at 30%. I forgot to charge it. Charge it. Rip. Have a good day, though. Yeah, I think I remember that bug, um, Ian. There was a load of old diamond duplication glitches, but they needed patching. The one I the one bug I really miss is the XP one. I kind of wish that was kept in the game until they found a better solution for getting XP. Because I feel like you waste so much time in survival Minecraft just repairing tools over and over again. And the bug where you could just, like, get infinite XP from a furnace was, like, so cool. I'm not saying that's a good solution. I feel like, though, there should be some sort of way to get XP, like, passively. Or, like, because, you know, we're also in a cost of living crisis, at least in the UK. I don't know how America is doing right now. But in the UK, like, cost of everything's going up. Everything's so expensive. And, like, you have to sometimes leave your PC on for, like, an hour or two to gather an FXP to repair all your tools. In, like, a basic farm. I know there's probably more advanced farms out there, but... You see my point. That's the one bug I kind of wish had stayed, or that they'd, like, made into a feature somehow. Because 
because I feel like that one was really useful and it also means that you just don't wait around for ages and do loads of boring stuff. Like, I, the amount of times I just sat at my XP farm, it's why I kind of, it's part of the reason I kind of stopped streaming the city for, uh, sorry, the survival for a while. Also, because I don't really know what else to do on it, but it, like, I got bored of just sitting off stream gathering XP for like two hours before or after every stream, but I also got bored of like d doing that on stream because no one would really watch because it was so boring, which is understandable. I'm not blaming anybody for not wanting to watch me just sit there and uh, gather XP. What else do we need in the kitchen, by the way? I don't know what else we actually need. Probably some cupboards, right? Although that's kind of what the barrels are, but we probably... No, because we've got the whole fridge. Um, What else do we need? We've got a microwave, maybe an ice cream machine, but I don't really know how you build that. I don't think the super horses thing no longer works. That's because you don't make XP farms. Nah, I've I've got an XP farm. I've got like a I've got like a skeleton one and a zombie one, but they're just so slow. Like I have, I've built XP farms where you kill mobs to get XP and it's still, that's what I use. It's just so slow. But in my opinion, you shouldn't have to build like crazy gold farms or whatever just to get XP. Like in my personal opinion, I feel like mending should almost be gone. Because, and I feel like mending should be gone and they, and they should just make the repair, the XP to repair tools. Like, like, like make it like one third of what it currently is. That's going to be so controversial to say though, but. I feel like the reason it's so expensive and there's a cap on how many times you can repair stuff on anvils is because mending exists. Like, you can only repair an item so many times with diamonds or with XP. You have to otherwise use mending. And in my opinion, I mean, I, I don't want mending to go, but but in my personal opinion, if they got rid of mending, and, well, this is not something that I say they should do. This is something I would be like, I feel like they should at least explore, though. But they'd get a lot of backlash for it. Would be get rid of mending and just make tools either last, like, double or triple as long. Um, or just remove the cap in anvil so you can just replace them with diamonds uh, so you can repair them with diamonds or with iron because that would also encourage people to go mining for more diamonds to repair diamond stuff if they're using elytras a lot they'd have to wait for phantoms kill the phantoms get the phantom membrane and repair them you see what i'm saying i feel like i feel like that would encourage like so many some people to play the game so much more but at the same time if they get rid of mending it would cause so many issues but i feel like it would also make the game so much more fun to play some degree because then you'd actually also have to worry about durability you know that's why mending is so op mending is the one uh and only enchantment that is used on almost all tools yeah but that's what i'm saying i feel like they should get i feel like almost they should get rid of mending and just make the system better to where you don't need mending And I'd argue, I'd argue the same about enchanting as well to some degree. I, although I'm pretty happy with the enchantments, the enchanting system, but I feel like we need a few more. I feel like we need. Uh, I feel like we need new enchantments so that like it's more kind of like you don't just like. At the moment, it feels like you just go for the same enchantments all the time on like everything, and once you're set, you don't need to make new tools. I feel like almost there should be enchantments, more enchantments that make that are worth getting for different like situations. So that, you know, you might want to run several different swords or several different pickaxes. I don't know. I do, I do like, I do like the, how, like, I do like the game's enchantment system a bit more. I wish there was more rare enchantments you could only find in structures or whatever. And I feel like villagers kind of ruin the whole point of mending. Um, but I'm not saying, I'm not sitting here and saying I think mending should definitely be removed. But I feel like it should be something that should be looked at. Um, because I feel like it would also make the elytra a lot less OP as well. If you couldn't use mending on it, because people would have to be a bit more like careful of like not letting their leeches die or whatever. And they'd have to go get phantom membranes or maybe even introduce some new way to repair the leech that's a bit more difficult to obtain. Although phantoms are already quite difficult to, to get, to be fair, because you have to already wait just to, to not sleep or whatever. I don't know. That's a really controversial opinion, but I feel like I, I wouldn't be against I wouldn't be against it. It's 7 p.m. for me. Ah. Interesting.
But Ian, in my opinion, that's uh, it's the fact that it's an enchantment everyone wants, in my opinion, makes it too OP. Or they should just make it really rare so you can't have it on every tool unless you actually grind for it. Because right now, you just get one NPC, so one villager with it, and then you can get as many books as you want. You should use set block command to be able to place blocks where they can't be placed. What do you mean? Am I still banned on the Discord server? I didn't even know you were banned on the Discord. I don't even know who you are. I'm going to be brutally honest. Um... We don't really unban people unless they appeal, but what's your... Yeah, what did you do and what's your, what's your username? And Stealth, we can probably look into it for you because he's staff on the Discord. Um, I'm ready to play Hardcore first time uh, in the upcoming Minecraft Bedrock Edition update. Maybe, I don't know, it might come out in 1.22. Yeah, you can play on beta and preview right now. Um, if you have anything called beta or preview on, or if you can download the beta and preview, which you can get on every platform apart from Nintendo Switch and some PlayStations. Um, okay, bye. Gotta go get ready for uh, school. See ya. Have a lovely day. The stream feels like it's suddenly picked up. I don't know why. It feels like this feels way more active than last night. <laughs> Although that, that makes no sense to me because I feel like right now is like an uh, like wait in my opinion right now would be a bit too early. I mean it's just turned two p.m. But it's still it's still I feel like it's still probably like going to be forty five minutes until I would expect the stream to like start getting more traction. You're not going to be able to. I mean to be honest with you, Bedrock Hardcore I don't think it's got longevity anyway. I feel like there's too many bugs on Bedrock. So I'd say I'd say just risk a hardcore run and then just make a new one when the update comes out because you're I mean I, I doubt you're going to survive forever with it anyway. If you're a really good player, people seem to keep dying with like bugs or issues. But also the the the, the problem with bed, bedrock hardcore mode is more difficult than Java hardcore mode, in my opinion. Because you can't heal like just by eating food. Like on Java, if you if you eat food, and uh, if you eat food on Java, um, you can just basically get unlimited stuff, unlimited hearts. Like really, like you can heal so quickly on Java. On Bedrock, though, you can't heal as quickly if you eat. Um, obviously the PvP is more difficult on on Java, and there's like other more difficult stuff. But also like the withers, like twice as hard to kill on Bedrock, and um. There's other stuff like that on Bedrock that makes Bedrock more difficult. It'd be interesting to see some of the Java players try be try do like a series or, or, or run on Minecraft Bedrock Hardcore because I do feel like it's more difficult. I mean, I I die at both of them, but like from like logically, it should be more difficult on Bedrock. Um. We'll just do, let's just do uh, strawberry, um, vanilla, and chocolate ice cream. Um, now, people have been, people have been, I have seen some bugs that people have died from, but I wonder how many of them are fake. Because I've played this game for like years and I've never died to a bug. Actually, I might have once, like years ago. But it probably wasn't. I probably died to something I just didn't see. Like a bush or something. But I have seen someone like eat and then glitch through some blocks or something. So it does happen. There's apparently a new cape coming to Minecraft, which is like going to be a creeper cape to celebrate the uh, tenth, no, the fifteenth anniversary of the game. But in my opinion, it looks kind of—it's it, just like a creeper. It looks kind of boring for like a fifteen-year anniversary. Like for the ten-year anniversary, we got this really cool. Like oh, I haven't got it on because I'm wearing a custom cape. Hold up. Uh, for the ten-year anniversary, we have. It shows it there as well. This cape pack is too good. Hold on, let me back out and show you the 
the, the, the 10th anniversary of Minecraft, we got this. Why have I not got my cape on? But right, hold up. We'll, we'll be there in a second once I can actually show you guys it. For the 10th year anniversary of Minecraft, we got this lovely cape. Right? But for the 15th, it's just going to be a bland creeper. I think they should do a different color, like a pink one or something. Or like a magenta one or something. Not just a plain creeper one. And then also, there apparently, there's rumors that they're releasing a new game as well. Why? Uh, well, Bedrock isn't... The reason Bedrock's so different to Java is because Java has a lot of bugs that Minecraft ref refused to fix because it's going to ruin Java, but then they don't want to add the bugs to Bedrock. That's honestly the main differences now between Bedrock and Java, in my opinion. I mean, there's a lot of stuff that Bedrock has that Java doesn't, like the cauldrons die, the cauldrons to die stuff, or the potions in cauldrons, like the easier tipped arrows that you can get. I don't think it's on Java. It might be, that might be on Java now, but the armor stands and stuff. But from the Java side to the Bedrock side, the main differences in terms of actual gameplay stuff um, is you can't build on top of the nether roof on Bedrock because that's a bug that's in Java. And they don't want to remove it from Java, but they don't want to add it to Bedrock. And the redstone is different on Java to Bedrock. I mean, Bedrock has some redstone advantages, like being able to push containers, but but Java has the connectivity differences, which makes Java redstone way better. And most of Java farms don't work on Bedrock, but they don't want to add a bug to Bedrock and they don't want to do take it away from Java. But then the only other differences really are like dual wielding, which isn't on Bedrock because of mobile players. Um, although I think that will eventually come anyway, to be honest with you. Um, and then like, obviously Java has like better servers or more servers. There's just not a lot of servers on Bedrock that people know of at least. Um, I think because partly there's a featured server so people don't need to join external servers and also you can't on consoles anyway but you wouldn't be able to on consoles if that had java um and then also like mods but the reason mods are better on bed uh, so the reason mods are better on java is a it's on the a it's on pc b i believe java is just a more like a better um programming language for mods uh, from some research i did years ago but that might not be correct still um or that might not be correct and also there's just not as much of like a modding like community on bedrock because there's a marketplace and creators are obviously going to want to get paid for their work um if if you know if they can if the option's there they're going to want to put stuff on the marketplace rather than um yeah They invite me when you get back in. Oh, I'm so sorry, Stealthy. I completely forgot you were in the game. Oh, I'm sorry. I was trying to make a point. I wouldn't have backed out if I'd remembered. I'm so sorry. I feel so bad. All I was doing was ranting about a cape. Hi, hello. Yeah, I don't know what the trapdoor in water uh, water bug is. Is that just like the classic door one, where like you can breathe underwater? See, this is this is ultimately what they need to do. They need to decide. Okay, we're either adding this stuff to Bedrock or we're removing it from Java with its bugs. My personal solution would be to remove the Never Roof from Java, um, but only on new worlds or make it like a game rule or something. But like for old worlds, don't make it affect old worlds at all. Um, so that like people can keep like using the never roof, but the, in my opinion, the never roof's too OP. Um, the never roof is like just too overpowered to really have in Minecraft because it it makes it so easy to just travel like really far, re really easily. Um, and I'm obviously for like fast traveling and stuff, right? Although the elytra exists anyway, but like you can use the elytra on the never roof, you know. Um, the never roof just makes it too OP to travel. That's honestly just, in my opinion. That's just honestly too OP. They need to get rid of um, the Never Roof, but don't make it ruin old worlds. The Redstone connectivity thing, I think ultimately we want the best of both worlds on the Redstone. We'd want whatever Java's bug is. I don't really understand the Redstone stuff, but we'd want Java's Redstone bug on Bedrock. But then on Java, we'd want to be able to push containers like chests and barrels and stuff um, based on what people have said. But the thing is, I feel like it's going to just... I, I, don't, I don't see them adding that bug, the Redstone bug to Bedrock, but they might do. I feel like they would have done it by now if they were going to. But yeah, I, in my opinion, they should get rid of the Never Roof, but not make it affect Old Worlds on Java, or make it as a game rule for both. But I just think it's too OP because like the whole fun of like the Never Travel being like eight times faster than the Overworld is like you've got to build a safe platform or a safe place 
You know, you got you got to be like safe. You you can't like you know you you could run into lava. You could run into so many mobs. I don't even know if mobs spawn on the Never Leaf. You know, that's that's my personal stance on those two things. And then obviously they should add the cauldron stuff to Java. They should add the armor stand stuff to Java that Bedrock's had. This is the thanks I get for helping you, JK. I'm so sorry. Uh, the both YouTube, welcome. Sorry, YT, welcome. Your tutorials helped me make my um, bed wars. Uh, my my MCP bed wars, my version complete. Hey, what do you have on your bed wars? Because we were talking about this yesterday, but I don't know what to do in a tutorial for one. Like people were saying, or mainly it was Ian, but I've also been thinking the idea for years myself. I should do a video on how to make a Bed Wars map from like start to finish, but what would you want included on it? Like, I know you probably don't need it now because you've made one, but what, if you were like, when you were searching for it, what would you want from like a how to build a Bed Wars video or how to make a Bed Wars video? Like what systems would you want commands for? Because in my opinion, it'd be such a long video and so many different com commands, but it would also be kind of fun to have like a long, more long form video like that. If you guys aren't enjoying the stream, by the way, hit that like button if you haven't already. We're aiming for 10 likes uh, in the stream. Um, some uh, things cannot be changed due to limitations of the programming language on Java and Bedrock uh, will never be 100% the same. Yeah, that too. But I feel like some of these, I feel like some of these differences could be added. Which toothpaste paste do you use to brush? I don't know. Whatever my <laughs> I'm going to be honest, I know I'm old, but I still just use whatever my mum buys. <laughs> so probably some like cheap stuff, because I don't really spend... I know some people spend a ridiculous amount of money on stuff, but I don't really. Um, I don't, But I don't know what they buy. They might buy expensive stuff. Is it 100% only focused on Bedrock and Bedrock can be better than Java? My stance on the focusing on Bedrock things changed. I took down the video of why Bedrock, uh, sorry, why I think Java Edition is going to be deleted in like five years because my stance on that's changed. I don't think they're going to delete Java Edition in like five years. I could still see them deleting Java Edition in like 10, 15 years, but I, I took down that video. A, it wasn't really gaining views anymore anyway. And I took down like a bunch of my old videos from like the console edition days or like the early bedrock days that are no longer getting views, like theories of like stuff that's already out now I took down. Because if someone clicks on the channel page and scrolls down my old content, I wanted to mostly be still stuff people are relevant to or stuff that was like really, really popular or like monumental in the channel. Or like I've kept some early stuff up but hasn't done as well just so people can go back and see where the channel started from. Um, but I took down my video of why Java Edition, in my opinion... Um, is going to be de is going to be deleted because my stance on that has changed slightly because you know back when I said that like it felt like they weren't putting any effort into optimizing Java anymore they weren't really doing any bug fixes and stuff and you know they I mean the point still stands of like you can now get Java free of your own bedrock and stuff but um, I think I've changed my stance on them deleting it if they do, it wouldn't shock me if they deleted um, Java edition um, soon like stopped updating it but my stance on that has sort of changed which is why i took down that video i might eventually redo it though because i still do think it's a possibility but yeah chat disconnected can you guys still hear me sorry my chat said it got disconnected do we have a huge like spike of lag i'm sorry I think we're back though. Um, for me, I used a small map so I could like get rid of all the wool. And also I used test for locks and test for. See, I want to do that video. It's been an idea I've had for like years and years, but I just don't know how to do it because I feel like people struggle with like my one command block tutorials. So, and obviously a Bed Wars map is going to require, well, you've done it, but I'm going to assume a Bed Wars map is going to require at least, like, probably at least, like, 50 command blocks. Because you'd need the shops for each. You'd need, like, four NPCs for each island. Because, you know, you'd want to be able to buy weapons, armor, tools, and all that. 
you'd then need all the systems that make that work, which could be done in NPCs, obviously, but you'd need the you need all the systems that make that work. Like you need all the commands for that. Um you'd then need the the bed system. But I, and also if you want to have the traps, that'd be another couple of NPCs. Um like on Hypixel how they have the different trap stuff. Um but you'd need you'd need the um the base system to detect when a base bed's broken and set the spawn point, which I feel like would be quite difficult. Would probably be a few command blocks, but you'd obviously need that I'm I'm saying I'm saying this for a four player bed wars, by the way. But you need that like four times for each of the different bed wars. Um Yeah, I, d I don't know. Let's maybe just like randomize like the placement of some of these. Just so there isn't like an easy pattern to discover. But yeah, no, interesting though. How many command books would you say your system took? And do you have like literally everything? Do you have like the I do you have like the islands like regenerating and stuff? Or are you doing that manually? Because I feel like that would be the hardest thing to explain, to be honest, even though it's possible with like structure blocks. I mean we need more customization on summon commands and stuff anyway. Easily. Would you play Minecraft still if Java and Bedrock had like a 10 uh gigabyte update that made them same game um i wouldn't want the games to be exactly the same anyway because i like the differences i like how on java the commands are way more complex i don't think that would really work on bedrock because of limitations and the way bedrock's coded um but i do feel like some of these bugs could be um fixed i'm not the one saying i want minecraft to be the same it's mojang who have said they wanted to be the same across both or as similar as possible have you met any other youtubers not in person Mr. Beast is not my friend. Otherwise, I'd be a lot richer. Um, who are you making your city for? Your girlfriend, or is it for me? I don't have a girlfriend, but it's also not for you. I just doing it. I'm just doing it because, like, I'm. Uh, I'm just doing it because I'm want to build a city. But yeah, I'm single. <laughs> probably always will be because uh, i don't find i don't really see anyone ever wanting to date me um i'm planning to make a whole server like hypixel but i don't know about it i have like 70 command blocks or maybe like 100 ish yeah so this is my problem right even if we just do one of the four islands that's still going to be like 25 uh, command blocks or more probably more because you need like the starting system right so like 30 command blocks, 40 command blocks. And I just don't know how to show that in a video. I feel like people would be able to not wouldn't be able to follow it. I use that initiator, so no come uh, command blocks. For the NPC shops. Yeah, yeah. That, no, yeah, but well you you got two options, haven't you? You can either do like one NPC that opens up more NPCs, or you could just have a separate NPC for each shop, which would probably be the easier way to do it. But then like it's not as cool as just having one NPC which like opens other NPCs. Um I have one vote. It's it's just only one v one. Oh yeah, yeah. That's see. That's the thing. I feel like people would want me to do a tutorial that has like at least four players or probably more. You can make it teams fairly easily with like tags or something. Yeah. But I feel like you'd want... I feel like Bed Wars, you don't really just want to be one island versus another island. I feel like you need, like, four. At least four. If, for 2v2, you'd want, like, four. But I feel like for solo, you'd want up to eight, really. Different islands. Because ultimately, if you're building your own Bed Wars, you're going to want it to be cooler or at least the same as, like, all these servers that have it, right? Otherwise, you're not going to find anyone to ever play it. Because why would they play yours when they can just go play on a server?
You don't use beds on your version. Because beds make a spawn point. Yeah, actually, I, that's a fair point. That, that That's smart, though. But I feel like I'd need to find a way to make it work with beds. You could constantly... Couldn't you just constantly reset the person's spawn if their bed hasn't been broken to, like, the spawn? Because, I don't know. I'd have to find a solution. Because otherwise, I can't really call it bed wars if I don't use beds. <laughs> You know what's sad? I haven't been able to play Minecraft in a while because I don't want to buy it again. Oof. Yeah, I had to do. I had to buy it again a few years back when I lost my old, old Xbox account. I don't know what happened to you though, but yeah, I, I had to rebuy it for PC because I I didn't know the I didn't I, I don't I don't know if either either the account that I brought it on on PC I no longer have or. No, I don't think it was to do with the Xbox account this time. I think I just had to buy it again because I lost the account that it was on and I got a new PC or something. It's just, you know. I get, I've, I've played the game for so long, I don't mind buying it again, but I bought it like eight times at this point. Probably. Or at least like four or five. I bought it on the Xbox 360. I bought it on the Xbox... Actually, do I get it for free on the Xbox One? I bought it for 360. I don't know if I got the Xbox One Edition free. I definitely got Xbox Bedrock free, though. So we're going to say that's two times. I then bought it on PlayStation 4, even though I didn't really play that for very long. Um, Java Edition, I bought it on. So that's four. Bedrock Edition, I bought it on twice. So that's six. Uh, I bought it on Pocket Edition at least once, probably twice. So, but that's, we'll just say that's seven. Um, so that's seven times. Don't know. If I don't think I've ever had it on anything else. I never bought it on Switch. I've been tempted to, but I've refused to buy it again. But I probably will eventually. Um, so I'd love to be able to play. If I get a Realm, I'll probably buy it on Switch so I can play it portably. Um, but yeah, seven versions. I've also bought Story Mode once. I've bought Dungeons, if that counts. But they're different games, so I'm not going to count them. But yeah. Oh wait, did I say that I had to buy Bedrock PC again? Hold up, that might be eight times. I don't know if I included that in my initial count. You can make a custom pack and make a block that looks like a bed, yeah, but you're forgetting how difficult it was to do the full right pack. <laughs> if I had someone to do it with me, I could do that, but I don't think I'm, I don't think my skills are good enough. Oh, you're on about you're talking about to 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 both. Yeah, he could do that, but I'm not smart enough. I just swapped from console to PC and it's like 30 bucks now. It was like uh 20 last time I paid. It's been it's been 29.99 here for the last couple of times I bought it. It used to be a lot cheaper though. But yeah, like on the Pocket Edition, I think I paid like five bucks for it. But the problem is that's on like my... I can't update Minecraft Pocket Edition now because I have to use a different account to do it. And I can never remember the account. So my Pocket Edition is so outdated despite me paying for it ages ago. Like I, I, I probably need to buy it again, to be honest. But I, I don't really plan on it, so I'm not going to bother. But I should buy it on Switch at some point. Because then I could sit downstairs. Well, then I'd have to buy a realm, though. Because you can't transfer worlds. Because I was going to say, then I could sit downstairs and build whilst... Uh, yeah. uh, if you've got Discord, you can send a picture of the map over on the Discord server. I don't think there's a way to on stream, though. Um, You can join Discord. We have, like, a, a um, media and curations tab. You can send, like, things you build there. Yeah, that's what I was trying to say, but I didn't really do it. Stadium update? Yes, I knew I was doing something. Stadium update. Hey, cool. Cool. Thank you for taking on this project, by the way. I hate builds not being finished, even though I don't finish a lot of them. But hey, this looks cool, man. This looks cool. I want to see it from the outside, but I actually know how you leave now. Oh wait, this is all in, this is all interior. Okay, I thought that was I thought this was the outside wall. Cool. I 
like it. It's like a person. Oh, is that like... I was going to say, is that like toilets or something? Are you doing like signs like toilets or something? But I don't know what... I don't know about it. This is toilets. I assume not. It might be. I don't know if it's like a person. Though. Or if it's like a way out. Oh, no. It probably is because there's one over... No, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. I'm guessing that is what it is. Cool, Stealthy. I have no idea how to get out of here, but it looks cool. He's out here. Hey. Yeah. Nice progress. Stadium update. I won't be able to look at the Discord right now, but if you at me next time I'm on, I'll look at it. I'll probably be on possibly later today. Possibly not later today. I have no videos I want to work on at the moment. So to be honest, once I end the stream, I probably won't do much for the rest of the day. So I probably will pop on, but I'm not going to promise I will. I've been on Discord a lot recently, so I'm trying not to go on too much for a couple of days, but I'm, I always end up going on every day anyway. So I probably will see it, but yeah. If you at me, my name's... Uh, I think it's one eye down at the moment on there, right? But if you type VIP man, at VIP man YT, I should come up, and you can just at me. And I'll look at it later when I get a chance. I'm going to lurk for a minute as a... a, a um, minute uh i'll be watching but uh my hands are busy okay enjoy gardening i don't, I don't know if you are gardening but like you always used to be out in your yard whenever we were in vc so <laughs> that's just an estimated guess so you still you still always are Uh, I want to do an office here, but I need to work out like what to do. What do I want to include in an office? I mean, we're going to need a desk. I forgot where I put the screenshot. Oof. All right, let's separate this into a few different rooms. I'm getting massive lag. Is still for using fill commands? No, I don't know why. I just got a huge lag spike. Weird. I mean, if he was using fill commands, it'd be fine. It would, it would just have explained the, the, the uh, reason I was getting lag, but he's not. Weird. Um. Right, okay. Uh, let's continue building. So we have now got several different offices. Um, this one's going to have two desks in here. So we want... Slab. Uh, do we want to do quartz again? Yeah, probably. Well, if you find it and share it on the Discord, but there's no rush. The Discord's always there. <laughs> um, let's do this as well. We want to just have two. So we probably want to go one more block over. There you go. Now that actually has a middle. Awesome. My PC screenshots don't go anywhere. Is it just me? Always do a folder with them all in. I've never found it. <laughs> I just take a screenshot and assume it doesn't save anywhere. How many different um, stuff do you have open on your computer? Well, now the lag seems to have stopped if you're on about that. I have my magnifier, which is always running, 
Spotify to listen to music, OBS, and then Minecraft, and then two Chrome tabs. The stream itself, and then the chat. I, I, I think I'm, I think it, I think it's fixed itself now though. It was just a really weird, really like quick lag spike, and this people can notice it and stuff. So I'm not, I'm not too worried now. I, I was just very confused because it just felt like it spiked. Screenshots in the video folder. I don't know because it's they're not though for me because I look at my video folder frequently because believe it or not I post videos. <laughs> I will look at some point. Yeah, my Discord name is One Eye Down at the moment. I mean, I don't screen any, I don't screenshot anything that needs deleting anyway. I just like I just I've just never seen it. Or maybe I just don't screenshot stuff. Maybe I only use print screen. Not print screen. Um, snipping tool. I don't know. Right. Or maybe you have to hit a different button combination for it to save. Or something. What colour should I do the internal walls here? Should we keep it blue? I'm sort of thinking, do we want to do a different colour scheme? Let's grab... Paintings... Let's grab... Uh, with a skull... With a skull... And let's grab a pressure plate... My internet's trash, I bet mine's worse. Um, yeah, yours probably is worse. You live in the middle of nowhere. Mine's mine's not great, like compared to like a lot of people's, but it's definitely it's like good enough. Like I don't need any better internet to be honest, but like if you compare it to like anyone else, it's, theirs is usually way better. Oh, that's a spawn egg. Crap, I almost spawned the wither. Oh my god, I'm so glad we've got the end of... Oh my god. OMG, I'm so glad we've got the... Anti-cheat setup. I thought that was a wither skull. I was like, why is it not spawning? Just in case it's run that command. There you go. <laughs> no. Blind man moment. <laughs> we should make that a phrase. We should make that a thing. We got rid of the blind emote though, didn't we, from chat, because no one was really using it. Maybe I need to re add that one. It just looks too similar to like the cool one because it's just like basically one eye patch or one glasses kind of thing. But maybe I should re-add that for one of the other emotes because some of the emotes aren't really used much. And that one has a bit of lore to it. Let's do some cactus. Hold up. Just check in. Okay. Hey, thank you guys for 10 likes. I appreciate that. Let's get some uh, W's in the chat. Thank you so much. For 10 likes. I appreciate it. 
Considering like there's not, I mean, we've got eight viewers right now, apparently, but it doesn't feel like there's eight people in here. But if we have got eight viewers, I'm going to assume at least like one or two of them haven't liked. So even if you guys are a lurker and you don't like typing in live streams, do me a massive favor. If you couldn't hit that like button, just helps out the stream a bunch. There's no pressure to, of course, but uh, a like would be very handy. Right, we need to work out what to do for the desk here. I'm just sort of thinking we do... No, I feel like this has got to be a desk where, like, you sit opposite the person. Um... Clear this real quick. Maybe this. Cool. I like the McDonald's, I just don't like its location. Yeah, I think the McDonald's should stay, but... But because people keep asking us to build one. I just don't like, I'm going to be honest, because I didn't build any of that area, I just don't really like the whole area. But the builds do look really impressive. They're like, they're probably the best looking builds, but because I didn't make them, <laughs> I'm not, I don't really have an attachment to them, but yeah. Bro, I almost had a hardcore death on Bedrock. I need to work out how to cheese hardcore mode. I feel like a video that could do really well would be how to save your hardcore world. I don't think there's a way to activate cheats though, is there on Bedrock Hardcore? I guess I could just do that video and say every time you go into your Hardcore world, just make a copy before you die. But there must be some sort of glitch or something to cheese your way out of Hardcore like there is on Java. Like Java, you just open it to LAN. Or there must be some sort of way to modify it in the game files or something. Because I feel like that would be a video that would do so well if I did a video on how to like get your Hardcore worlds back. Finally it's done, it took a decade lol. <laughs> Hey, I'll check it out later. Thank you for adding me. I normally look at every single pin, uh, ping when I next, whenever I go on, so I shouldn't miss it. Anything specific you want me to do? What have you have you done the stadium now? Or are you saying in the stadium? Um, not really right now. I'm going to be brutally honest with you. I can find something for you to do, though, if you, <laughs> if you want. There's always going to be builds that need finishing. Or updating or destroying and stuff. I'm just a bit bored of it for now. Bro, make a... What even is that? Is that just a face? Or a statue? Um... Yeah, it's stealthy. What about... Are you any good at making, like, gas stations look better? Because I don't really... I don't really know... I don't really know if I like these gas pumps, but I don't really know how to improve them. So I don't know whether we could make we could even make make this whole area a bit larger and space them out a bit and then I don't even know if you need a way out you probably do don't you I don't know but like the yeah I mean you could give that a go maybe I don't know even if you want to try work on this and make this better I have tried to improve this by like adding the stripes to it and adding doing the redoing the roof but you know if you want if you want something to do you could do that or um. Or you could decorate out the front here, maybe, and have... I, I don't know if they have a path going all the way around. So you could do that. You could decorate all the way around here, have a path going around to here, and then you could have maybe an entrance going in there. I don't know. Or decorate, do some terrain or decoration in this area. Any, anything you like. 
if you want to work on anything to do with this build, like the supermarket, if you want to help out, you can is what I'm saying. I don't mind. Or or if you think the roof's too flat, you want to work on the roof, work on the roof, because I've just left this flat. Or actually, if you want to do if you want to do the tables inside, you can do the tables inside the restaurant too. That, the tables inside the restaurant is probably the easiest job that kind of needs doing if you can come up with some table designs. Because I always just use the same sort of designs for stuff. If you want to decorate the tables or the or the, or the toilets, that's when you have men's, women's and disabled toilet. I don't really mind, is what I'm trying to say. If you want to help out with anything, go for it. <laughs> if you can think of anything else the kitchen's missing, you can add to that. I, I honestly don't... I, I, I just, you know... If you want to help out with anything, you can. <laughs> it's basically what I'm saying. Um... This is a sample of my code NPC shop. Yeah, I probably wouldn't go into like... I would probably wouldn't do the play sound bits and stuff. I'd have to keep my video really simple. Yeah, no, stealthy for sure. You don't have to work on the football stadium the whole time. Just do anything, man. <laughs> like, it, I mean, I want to, I want to try get the supermarket finished like this week, to be honest. So if you, if you want to help with this, go for it. Because I feel like I need to start moving on to other stuff. I feel like the streams are gonna get boring if I work on the same build. I mean, I could come back to it, but I've already come back to this build like four times. So we need to like, we need to, I need to try like actually make some decent progress. I feel. You know, I'm always going to want to come back to builds, but I need to, like, get it to a point where I'm happy with it. I think it should be the same colour scheme. You can do that. I don't know whether we can extend it a little bit. Hold on, let me come back. If you're doing the, if you're doing the thing, I don't know whether we could extend the actual building a bit. Hmm. No, it's quite large, to be fair. I was going to say, I don't know if we should extend it and have somehow try and have like a drive through window, but I don't really think that's going to work. So you can like drive through and pay. Because I know some of them you can drive through and pay like your thing. But I think that'd be, I, I, unless we move it to that corner, I don't think that. Unless we move it to this corner, I don't think that would be possible. I mean, what else do car parks have? It feels like we've got a massive car park, but to be fair, we haven't really because uh, the spaces are only along the corners. You could maybe have a car, a spot that's like in the car park that's dedicated to like a car wash as well. I don't know. Yeah, just change the color scheme and see how it looks. For now. It's mainly the pumps and stuff of it. I don't. I really don't like. I mean, I didn't do the pumps and stuff of it, but yeah, that's the main bit. I really don't know what to do with. They just feel off to me. And they say need to be the same colour scheme. Right, there's a laptop. Are you the only one that talks back to your viewers? It's just a shame no one really not many people will watch. <laughs> I think it's a good size, just need to work on pumps. Yeah, the pumps are the bits I don't like. If there's anything you want to redo with the interior, you're more than welcome to as well of it. I built that ages ago. The floor, the, the floor I'm not too sure about. I, I, the floor, I believe, is like chiseled bookshelves, but I don't know if I've kind of gone off that floor, but... If you want to change that to like stripped birch or some sort of stripped block, you can. You can do whatever with that build, honestly. Just try and prove it however you want to, like the whole, uh, whole bit. Um, grab bookshelves and some books.
You can use structure blocks for generators on bed wars. Yeah. I was going to do a tutorial for that like two years ago, but then it seemed like no, it seemed like bed wars had kind of died, but I don't know if it's got a bit of a resurgence, has it? Because it's come out on Hive. So maybe I should do a tutorial on it. But yeah, that's been on my video ideas list for years. I'll be honest with you guys, normal bookshelves are better than chiseled bookshelves because chiseled bookshelves you can't have really on the sides of stuff. I guess I could do chiseled bookshelves on the top. Sit down for a bit, Ian, if you think you hurt your hip. <laughs> I don't know if that's the best solution, but yeah. But yeah, no, um, the generator, I know you can use structure blocks for. You just save an item, don't you? And then you just like constantly spawn the item with a generator. See, I don't know how much demand there is for a bedwars thing, because what we could do is do an individual video for each of the different elements, like how to build a bedwars generator, but I just don't know if there's enough demand for it. What happened to the viewers? Why does it say only one viewer? It probably is only one viewer. I think there's at least two of you here. I don't know. I don't really try and look at the view count. I do whenever I check for likes, which is why I often get other people to check the likes for me. Otherwise, I don't look at it, though. Because if I look at the viewer count, sometimes I get sad. I'm still here. Is anyone else here? Comment in chat if you're watching right now. I want to know how like broken the viewer count is. If you're a lurker, obviously you don't have to. But if you want to, if you feel comfortable typing in chat, type in chat. I'm curious if the view count is broke. There you go. You could probably mix in a normal bookshelf somewhere here. Does that have the same bottom? No. Let's do that there. There you go. Cool. Cat, what's up? Meow, 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 meow. How are you? Got YouTube Premium for one month free. I still really wish that you people who had YouTube Premium could get a channel membership, like, for a month for free. I feel like YouTube's missing an opportunity there somehow doing that, even as, like, a limited time thing for, like, one month. I feel like, like it would just be so cool, because it would, like, yeah... I feel like they should do that. They should make it so that you can get a channel membership if you get YouTube Premium. Even if it's just a month, because I know they'd lose a lot of money on it. But... It doesn't even have to be an expensive one. Just make it like a one, one pound tier so the creator gets like 70p from it. Um... Oh, wait, hold up. That's not going to work because I still need to do blocks over the doorways. Hold up. If you do that. Good one, about you? Not too bad today, to be honest. I'm, uh, I'm all right. For once. For now. I say that. I probably just jinxed it and now my jaw is probably going to start hurting. But, you know, that's what always happens in a first time, all right. Does hurt sometimes during the day randomly, though. 
<laughs> I've got a feeling it's now going to start to hurt. I don't know why. I hope it doesn't. Um, a member for 14 months. Let's get some W's or some hearts in the chat. Thank you for continuing to be a member. Have a great day at work. Thank you so much for the support as always, Kat. Jason was asking after you the other day. Um, yeah, Jason was Jason was asking after you the other day, or he was. I, I don't know. I think he was trying to he was trying to say he's going to beat you in donations, I think. But then I don't think he even is beating you in donations this year. So I'm, I'm a bit confused. But or, or maybe he is now beating you. But yeah, he was uh, he was asking after you the other day. I think he was like, where did Cat go? I, I hadn't seen him in streams in ages either. So Yeah, thank you so much for continuing to be a member, man. I really appreciate it. Hey, shout out to you. Let's get some W's in the chat for Cat or some hearts. Sup, not much. Welcome to the stream. How are you? <laughs> Jason Begone. Have you, I don't know, were you already being, I think you're already beating him anyway, aren't you, this year? Or maybe you're not, but it was definitely very close. But hey, thank you for the, thank you for the super chat as well. Well, let's get some W's or some hearts in the chat. Shout out to you. I've got zero clues, same. <laughs> I know last year, like, it was very close to most of the year, and then one of you took over, like, right near the end. But I, this year, I have no clue. Cat's richer than me. I mean, I don't know how rich Cat is, but I don't think Cat's... From what Cat said previously, I don't know how much, like, pay rise and stuff they've got. I don't think they're that rich. I just think they're very generous. Not everyone that always donates is, like, rich. Some people are just very, very generous. In fact, you'll probably find the rich people are people that don't donate at all, which is no hate towards anybody, by the way, but people, like, people don't always realize, like, some of, the, some of the rich people, in some people in these streams are like, oh, I just spent two grand on this, so like, it's nothing, and then just never donate, which obviously there's no pressure for them to donate, right? Um, so please don't... Please don't misinterpret it to me saying people have to donate, right? But I feel I think you'll probably find it's often the poor people that end up supporting the content because they realize like that you know not everybody's making a lot of money. Like I don't make a lot of money from content or from YouTube. Um so I think like, yeah. I I I feel like you'd be surprised. It's often the people who haven't probably got a lot of money um who support the streams more than the people that have like loads. Apart from bacon. Yeah. Anyway, see you, see you. Have a great day at work. Thank you once again. Yeah, I'm beating him by one dollar. Hey. That's what I thought. <laughs> Spawn a warden for no reason. I'm not doing that. Especially not for free. Give me give me give me a give me a, a money to offer and I'll consider it. But I'd have to make a copy of the world. Um Dare, welcome. How's it going? But yeah, I'm not going to spawn a warden on a world I've been working on for a year. You'd probably get all the money I'm paid if I'm paid. If I got paid. Hold up, you must you must somehow what you mean from the realm, or because you must somehow surely you must somehow get some money in person though, right? Because you've got like a son to look after and stuff. Or, or I don't I don't know your financial situation, but or, or do you? You don't do education though, right? And you said you didn't have a job, to be fair. But there's no pressure to ever donate, by the way, to anybody. Like, no one should feel forced to. Ultimately, it's my choice for doing YouTube and content creation. So please, no one, like, feel forced to, especially if you're not very well off. I'm just trying to say... I'm just trying to say... Um, I, all I'm trying to say is people often think that it's the rich people that donate. And um, sure, there's, like, probably Bacon. Bacon does seem like he has a lot of money. Um, but what I'm trying to say is I think it's often people that aren't like super rich who donate Like I feel like there's probably people who watch the streams regularly who are way better off than most of the people that donate regularly But don't donate and that's completely fine, but yeah I'm not like ever expecting anybody to ever donate is my point <laughs> I am broke. I can't even afford to buy minecraft and I've been a member for 12 months. Exactly. That's my point. That's my point 
But that's also not me saying everybody who's broke should have to super chat or become members or, or gift members or whatever. That's not what I'm saying, by the way. Please no one misunderstand what I'm saying. <laughs> I'm just saying it's not always the it's not always people that are rich that do support the channel, you know. Some guy said to me before, I still don't believe this, but some guy said to me before he was literally homeless and donated to join my SMP when it was a, when we had a member SMP that was five bucks a month. Now, I highly doubt that's true because surely if they were homeless, they wouldn't have had a PC or internet or anything to play on. But they said to me they were. And I felt really bad, but then it was their choice, you know. Uh, I meant from like the realm low and yeah, um, I make money uh, in real life from my stuff, but um, no one not enough to spare. Yeah, exactly. Cool. I was going to say, I was, I was concerned for a minute. I was like, you must make some sort of money. Yeah, I doubt. I Go has said he's going to pay. Go has said if he could, he, he would want to pay like one person for the realm. But I said to him, don't. I think the realm should run off volunteers, to be honest with you, because I feel like there's already too many like issues with like staff abusing and stuff. And ultimately, Goat's not going to make money back from the realm. He did offer to say, you know, I could probably, I might be able to pay some one person like a little bit. And I was like, nah. I was like, if you're gonna do anything, just just don't, don't, you know, don't, don't pay any realm stuff because the realm's ultimately not that serious, right? Ultimately, if someone wants to quit the realm, someone else is gonna take over their job. And if we run out of people to moderate the realm or run the realm, then the realm can just close. It's not like the realm's like a ma it's not like the realm's a business, and I don't think the realm should operate like a business. To be honest with you, I think Goat spends more than enough money on like paying for the realm. But yeah. Is Dan insulting his chat again? No, I was just trying to prove I was just trying to prove a point that it's not the rich people that donate. It's often people who are less well off that donate. They were trying to guilt you. Yeah, I don't think that person was physically homeless and donating. If they were, then they're sorry, but they're kind of stupid for donating to me. Hey, homeless person with technology. Uh, I'll ex uh, wait, hold up. Hey, homeless person with technology. I'll not explain how I know it. I, I, I mean, they're, they're better off now, but I'm like, you, there's no way you're going to spare five bucks to join a Minecraft SMP if you're homeless. Even if you're spend, even if you're sleeping on like a friend's sofa or something, right? Like, you're surely not going to want to waste money on an SMP when you can join SMPs for free. <laughs> Tonzi, I'm not Tonzi. I'm not an unfit. I'm not no Tonzi. You're 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 miscalculated. I, I know you're joking, but people are going to take you deadly serious. I'm not saying that people should. I'm not saying that people shouldn't get paid for their work. I'm saying I don't think. Uh, I'm saying I can't afford to pay moderators. I can't afford to pay Discord staff, and I'm very grateful for what everybody does. Um, but like, if I could afford to pay anybody, which I can't, but if I could, I'd rather pay like an editor. But I just don't think Goat should pay Star. Like, even if Goat was, like, really well off, I just don't think he should. Because ultimately, the realm is not making any money. Goat would just... Goat's funding all this out of his pocket. And I don't... You know, there's no way for the realm to make money. Ton, shut up. Ton, shut up. You don't even, you don't even feed the helpers and you own, an, own a restaurant. So shush. It's operated like a business for garden... Uh, for, Regardless of payment low, like at least people who uh, haven't had a job yet in real life can get some experience. Yeah. It, see, the problem is there. I want to say it's van too seriously, but then we have so many people abusing. Although I'm going to be brutally honest, people took the issue the other day way too seriously in my eyes. I know you were one of the people who were on board with the realm closing down when that griefing happened, but I think the realm should have just stayed open, to be honest with you. Because I still feel like the realm shutting down is ultimately what Mike wanted. <laughs> like, they wanted to mess about to interfere with the realm. And in my opinion, like, we should have just demoted anyone that was a suspect because and just moved and then, like, sorted out in the morning when we could get statements from them all. Because ultimately, if the realm gets a little bit griefed, we can just, we could have just reverted back, you know? And then if we demoted those four people, like, the four suspects and, and the realm wasn't griefed, then, like, all good, you know? Even though, like, we all knew who it probably was. It's like, I don't know. I feel like I feel like sometimes it's banned too seriously. It's literally just a Minecraft home. But then at the same time, I'm all, I also said to Tonzi the other day, like, staff are accepted too quickly, in my opinion, because we've had, like, three or four abusive staff in the space of, like, a week. And why are people that apply for staff, like, four times and then... 
and get denied four times suddenly ex accepted. It just seems stupid to me. <laughs> it's like Ghost saw the, the persistence of one of the staff members and then accepted them. I think they'd applied loads and got denied and got accepted. I don't know. I, I honestly don't pay close enough attention to it. I'm trying to pay less attention to it. But because I get like really involved and really addicted to trying to like read everything and see what's going on. But like I, I, I feel like it's ran through seriously, but I also feel like it's there's not really another way to do it. That, that's also sort of why I'm like, I'm, that's also though why I'm sort of a, why I've been like, um, saying to go, like, I haven't in a while, but why I sort of said to go, maybe we don't want to make it a permanent thing. Like, maybe it should be something that comes like once a year, like a realm. For like a month or two, you know, maybe over summer or maybe over like Christmas. A, when people are going to be around more to play on it. But also... <laughs> Also, it will just give the staff a break because I feel like eventually it's going to get to the point where some of you guys are fed up of just moderating every single day. You know, because ultimately you are volunte volunteering. You know. Like, people like Moon, you, and other staff who are really good and have been there from the start. Or not, I don't know if you were there from the start, but you are there from fairly, 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 fairly early on. I feel like eventually you're going to get burnt out if it's just a realm that goes on every single day, every older year. Because ultimately, people are just volunteering on it, you know? And, like, I said this from the start. I don't know who would want to moderate a realm because it's so much work. Like, moderating the Discord, there's not much of the helpers or mods to do, right? Moderating a, moderating a Minecraft thing is like a, is pretty much like a job, which is why I'm shocked that anybody wants to do it. <laughs> I'm not going to complain because without you guys, it wouldn't exist. But, yeah. If they were homeless, then they would have made at least, like, a... A uh, few bad calls in the night. I, I don't think they... That's not always the case. They could have just got thrown out from their parents or something, right? But I just but I just don't get why they'd donate to me if they were homeless. I'm not saying they were lying. I, I, I don't even remember them, to be honest. And they were apparently a member, so I feel like I would have remembered them. But yeah, I don't know. In the US, housing is so expensive and there are like many homeless people uh, living in like cars with like full-time jobs. Just can't afford housing. Yeah, housing's expensive over here too, to be fair. But they were making it sound like they had no money at all, Ian. Not that they were like, you know. It's not my job to think that it's yours. <laughs> uh, if it, me and Tonzi would be in double A, I can't afford to pay people. And I don't think Goat can afford to pay Realm stuff either. But I do feel, I do feel like, you know. Place a block somewhere already. I'm sorry, okay. I, I, I'm I'm getting distracted by this conversation. <laughs> Oak stairs. Oak slabs. I agree that they're expected too quickly. We share that opinion. The, 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 the problem is the problem as well though is like this is no hate towards goat but i don't think he's got enough free time to run the realm either because like he said ages ago that he was going to demote all the inactive staff in game and then he was going to tell tonzi um on me if i'm what if i happen to be on but probably it'd be more likely to be tonzi like to demote the people in discord but like it's been like he promised me he'd do that like a week or two ago and he hasn't you know Like, I just think he's too... I think he's personally too busy to run a realm. Especially the way that, like, this realm's trying to be ran. Like, if it was just a realm that was meant to just be for active people in the Discord, you know, maybe meant to be dead all the time, didn't need as many staff, and was just, like, for the community. Um, you know, maybe a realm that's just for really, really active people that have been around for a long time, rather than one that, like, I promote on places. Um, but because of how seriously the realms took, and because you guys have all these add-ons and all these, like, other fancy stuff... I'm trying to promote it a bunch because I don't want your time to be wasted. But to some degree, I feel like if the realm is going to be a constant thing, or even if it is just a one or two time a year thing, it should just not have all these like fancy add-ons or this fancy stuff to try force players to keep playing. And it should just be something that's just like, just a chill, normal vanilla Minecraft realm for like a month or two a year with just a few command blocks to moderate or like a few mods, like, you know, the mods to moderate and stuff. Like all this crazy building and all this stuff, like it's sick, but it's kind of ran like a proper Minecraft server. Um... And therefore, I'm trying to promote it a bunch because I don't want all your time to be wasted with all the time you spent on it. But, like, Goat isn't even really active enough to properly 
run it. And it shouldn't just be down to him to run, so I'm not hating him for that. Like, I know you're now staff manager, you know, and there's, like, like, there's staff managers and stuff, but I don't know. I'm still personally someone that feels like it just it just doesn't really work in its current form, but it is it did it, it is making the Discord more active, so I'm not going to complain about it if you guys all enjoy running it, you know. Honestly, if we did take that uh, too seriously, we'd have like um. I don't know. I got I got his confession, so technically it worked perfectly in the end. Yeah, I guess I can see why it was done, but I just. I just feel like it's like the first sign of an issue. It just shut down to some degree. Which I'm not saying it shouldn't have, but yeah. It's like, it just kind of proved to people that if they cause issues, they can, they can shut down, you know? They can shut down. Oh, Ultimately, they should never have got there to begin with. More like Sewer's Realm. Are we doing that in the Discord too? No, I, I said to Sewer that... Uh, well, I said to Sue that he should just work with Goat on a realm if, if Goat still has one. I DM'd him about it a couple of weeks ago. When all the chaos was going down and I wasn't sure if Goat's realm was shutting down, once we once it like reopened, I said to him, I don't think two realms is a good idea. Because I don't want the Discord to turn too much into just a realm Discord. I, we, like, we need to get more people in the Discord and the realm watching the streams, to be honest. And Goat did suggest, and this was an idea Goat completely suggested, that... If people actively watch the streams, he, he'll give some of them, like, random unique rewards for watching. But then Goat can't do that if he's not in the streams very much himself, because he's always busy. So I, don't, I haven't announced that anywhere, because I don't know what items he's given away. And B, like, Goat can't really, like, monitor who he's actually seen on the moment. I don't know everybody's Minecraft name, so I can't really do it. <laughs> but yeah, I said that, I, I, although, apparently, Sewer's Goat told me that Sewer's paid for a professional build team, so I don't know if he's now hosting a server, like, excluding this community, but that's news to me, because I thought he would have told me, like, a week ago. Uh, I don't know what, is it TB Legends? I don't know what that means, what that means, but welcome. Sorry, I'm very behind on chat, but welcome, man. I think I'd be like content with like 50 to 1 pound every week. Maybe what well, if if I don't know how I don't know oh yeah we'll do a Q&A if you've got any questions. No one's really asked any. I forgot I had that in the title. But yeah, I'm down to. Um what was I going to say? If 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 um if goat does want to spend money on stuff, maybe a solution would be like stuff of the month or something and they just get like a, a five dollar gift card or something but in my opinion goat shouldn't spend any more money on the realm i think i think yeah i'm not but it's up to goat ultimately if goat's rich and wants to i'm not gonna say he shouldn't like people do deserve compensation but yeah when are you placing a block did i not place a block 10 seconds silence. Sorry, it's hard to keep streaming the whole time. I keep distracting Dan. I don't mind. I love streams like this. I just can't read chat and play at the same time. Because <laughs> of my eyesight, so. Um, that's why he appointed, like, a staff manager. Uh, and then some stuff popped up with, like, the... Uh, with, like, him, which is why I'm staff manager for now. Yeah, he told me why you're staff manager now. But... Yeah, I haven't heard a goat paying anyone. He he suggested he could probably pay one person to me in DMs, but I said it was a bad idea. Because he's never going to make the money back from the realm because I don't want like ranks and stuff on the realm. So I think he should he I think he should invest as little money as he can into it, to be honest. That's my personal stance, you know. It's not like he's going to ever make the money back from it, so. See you, Tonzi. I think he was joking about paying people, though, but yeah. Ian, I don't even know what that comment means. I'm not bothering to read it out loud. I'm, my brain isn't working. I'm sorry. Bro, what even is... What's that one? 
That's not how you even say your name, is it? I don't know how to pronounce the word Juan because it's like a Spanish name and I always get complaints whenever I say it. So I, I shouldn't have even bothered trying. Anyway, right, I'm back to building now. But yeah, no, um, 100%. My personal stance is that people shouldn't be paid to, to work on the realm. I'm not saying people shouldn't be paid for their hard work, but I think if people want to be paid for their work, then they should go to a, a realm or a server that can afford to pay people. This isn't a realm that makes money. We're never going to have banks on it. We're never going to have stuff you can buy. Maybe we'd have stuff behind YouTube memberships to try and encourage people to watch the streams more so they can get gifted or whatever. But I'm going to be honest, even if we got gifted, even if we got more people signing up to YouTube memberships for perks on the realm, which I do think is a good idea, like base protection systems, I'm not going to make enough of it to start paying people. I'm not even going to probably make enough off of it to start covering the realm. Because YouTube take a cut of memberships, and then also some countries have really cheap memberships. Like, possibly, you know, the reason I'd be down for doing that is if the realm, if Goat did ever stop paying for the realm because he was having financial issues or he didn't want to pay for it anymore. If we had, like, YouTube memberships that, like, gave people awards and we gained a lot of YouTube members for it, from it, then maybe I'd be more open to, like, taking over paying for the realm. But I'm going to be honest, I don't think, I think if Goat stops doing the realm, I don't think I'm going to make one. Because I just don't really enjoy it. It's a lot of stress and I don't, like, you know, I'm very grateful for Goat running it, you guys all moderating it and stuff. And I'm like, you know, I, it still shocks me that you guys even want to and that people want to moderate it because it feels like it is a full-time job or like a lot, you know, a lot of effort. But um, but I, even if, yeah, I don't think I'd, I don't think I'd, if Goat stopped running, I don't think I'd take over. I'm going to be honest. Not at its current form, anyway. TP? Sure. You should let me help build on here. Um, Maybe another day. I don't know about today. I do let people join and build on here. Um, But I, I, to be honest with you, I'm sort of just keeping it to Stealthy and Tom now. Hey. Yeah, this looks better. Because this has like an over... Yeah, I like this. This looks better. It has like a roof. I don't know if it would be better if it was somehow blue though, so it matched everything. But I do like it. I think it probably works actually. Cool. And did you just change I think all you did for this was change the walls, right? It looks cool. I was gonna originally have like one of the corners have like a tree or something, but I didn't really know how to do that. Looks cool though, man. But yeah, no, the problem is if I let one person join, everybody keeps asking me to join. So I kind of want to just keep it to Stealthy and Tom. I probably would just keep it to mods if Tom didn't have such a crazy build on here. That I really want him to finish. He's got like them, he's got like a massive supermarket on here. Um that I want him to finish. And I think he also wants to build like an F1 track and stuff. So I'll probably let Tom continue to join. Um and then Stealthy's just really handy to like help with stuff but um i'm not saying i would never let you join there i just if i let one person join everyone wants to and then it's like you know uh, it's difficult and to be honest i want to do the majority of stuff myself anyway because i feel like the city in the city feels so much more like mine if i actually do the majority of stuff but but yeah maybe maybe eventually maybe eventually Uh, we need some of this slab. Awesome. What about doing that? Cool. More shaders changes are coming today in this week's preview. Hey, what's the changes that's been like leaked or have they already announced it? Is it out? They, they, they must be like... Um, they must be already... Um, pretty much ready to go, to be honest. There's already a lot of features on the shaders. And the floor. Oh, I didn't look at the floor. Hold on, I'll come back in a second. That 
then I would have been okay with just a no, no need to explain your reasoning. Man, I forget that like you actually can hear me because the reason I explain it so bloody well is because I'll say no to people and then they just start spamming it. <laughs> it's just habit at this point. I don't know how often, I don't know how much you've been in streams, but if you like, if you, uh, I know you've been in streams a fair amount, I think, but probably not like quite enough yet. But eventually if you, if you're in streams enough, trust me, you're eventually going to be seeing how annoying it gets. It's the only reason I, I agreed to go making a realm. I'm going to be honest because people keep spamming me asking to join. But then I do sort of feel like goat having a realm has kind of hurt the streams. I'm like, this is the other reason I'm not sure if I want, like, whether the realm should be like a temporary thing, like once or twice a year for a month or two, because I feel like since the realm started, we don't have people like lurking or watching the streams as much trying to join <laughs> because the realm exists, which is obviously good because it's less annoying, but it also means we get less viewers. Um, and it'd be interesting to see who sticks around if the realm isn't a constant thing. But yeah, no, that's why I always go to default explaining that so much because people keep spamming it even when I do explain it well. <laughs> Get rid of the skyscraper if you want selfie. We'll just build a new one at some point. It looks awful now anyway. Like the, the the not the not the blue one, but the the one that's built into the stadium. If you want to get rid of that, get rid of it. You can. I do want to build another one that looks similar, but yeah, Toma kind of messed that one up. It's chill. You have such a cute dog uh, skin. How did you get it? It was in the marketplace, but I don't know if it's still free because I've had it for so long. It's part of the first birthday skin pack. If you can find that on the marketplace still, it's a complete. It was completely free, I think. Um, don't get, forget to leave a like, it helps a lot. Yeah. Thank you for liking and subscribing. Welcome, welcome to the VIP army. If you need anything, um, let me know. Shout out to you. Right. I, I, don't, I still don't know whether to do something to this interior as well. I think we'll leave it. Maybe it should have like a slush puppy machine or something in here. I have the first birthday skin pack. Yeah, I think it's in that. Um... Maybe we'll add some fridge. I know I'm taking over what Stealthy was working on. I'm so sorry, Stealthy. But I built the interior and you haven't touched it, so I'm going to touch it because it's driving me crazy. It's so difficult, though, because going back to like the whole people people wanting to join, when people do join, it gives me some good inspiration of like how I can make my own builds better, but a lot of people are also really bad at building. Like, I do wish that people just wouldn't grief and we could let pe loads of people in so I could get me more inspiration for the city and, like, how to improve stuff. But then also, every time we do it, it just backfires. There's also a Discord you can join if Dan feels up to le leaking it. Oh, uh, leaking it? Linking it? I don't know. Welcome. How's it going? Uh, if you want to join the Discord, there's a link in the description. Uh, if you can't find it, let me know and I will link it. Um, if you do use Discord, obviously if you don't use Discord, it's chill. But if you do want to join, it exists. You're revealing my laziness, not changing the blocks underneath. No, I'd do the same. It's fine. I 
actually know how to do the slabs on this. Oh, now this doesn't work. <laughs> We're going to end up doing redoing the whole interior. <laughs> Okay, maybe you were a bit lazy because now I'm not you why, but I know I've not got to change all these. Uh hold up. I should have just done it with a fill command, but I always do stuff manually too. When will we get a face of it? Um Probably not ever, unless there's like a reason to. So my reasoning for not doing a face reveal is that well there's two main reasons. A it's because I'm gonna eventually need to go get another like a normal job. Um, because YouTube doesn't really pay very well uh, at my channel size. And the channel, I've, I've been doing this for like a decade. The channel doesn't really show signs of suddenly exploding. Um, so once this jaw and ear pain fully goes away and gets sorted, if it ever does, I'm going to look into getting a job. Um, and I don't want to, you know, be a, like, I feel like no one's going to know who I am. But like, let's say I worked in a job where like I had clients or whatever. And then they were like, oh, I've seen your YouTube stuff. You know, I don't really want to be in that awkward position. Because even though like, I'm a chill YouTuber. It might, you know, raise like questions to like the employer or whatever, or whatever, or whatever. Um, but also because of my eyesight, whenever someone walks across the other side of the road, if they're shouting Dan, which is like quite a common name, I kind of wish I'd not never given my actual name on YouTube or I'd had like made one up. Because if someone says Dan, I don't know if they're talking to me or if they're just talking to their friend who they're looking at because of my eyesight. I can't see faces or facial expressions very well and stuff or where people are looking at. Um, and just privacy in general. I've done a face reveal in the past, but I don't think I'm going to probably ever do one again um, because I just don't really have a need for it. If I ever... like, And also, because of my eyesight, I sit so close to the screen, I don't sit focusing on one thing. You know, I look over at my other screen, I'll zoom in and stuff. I couldn't really show my face on streams anyway. And, like, I don't really do videos where I need to show my face. So I just think, like, there's no point. If I ever, you know, if there was another, another channel I wanted to do or anything that, like, showing my face would benefit me, I'd probably show it. But, uh... Yeah. I can't give a straightforward answer, can I? <laughs> just get rid of the skyscraper and just help me build another one after you've done the football stadium. We'll both work on one together. We need like a whole like road of skyscrapers to be honest. That would look sick. Join the Discord? Awesome. Thank you. But yeah, if there's ever a need to, I will probably do a face of it. I'm not against it. I have thought about it, but I just don't really see the benefit of doing one if I, you know, if I don't need to. Um, well, the same name. Uh, well, the same name thing is common regardless of like YouTube. If someone says like, yeah, yeah, exactly. But the problem is you can probably... The problem is, though, Dare, is like you can probably see sometimes if they're talking to you. I just find it so awkward because I never know. Like, I've answered before and then it turned out they were talking to their friends that they were seeing and I'm like, like, you know, they were just talking behind me to friends. I don't know. So part of me is like, should I have just kept the name VIP Man or like had a username? But I don't know. It feels cool given my name. Like, people know my name's Dan, though. But yeah, it would still be an issue, I guess. It's just I'm scared that it'd become more of an issue if I showed my face was more what I was trying to get at. Hold on, did I ever start the fill command? I did, but I didn't finish it, okay. Uh, that one should probably stay there, to be fair, right? Yeah, I think this should stay here. I'm debating whether to change the blocks as well to the blackstone stairs rather than the quartz stairs so it matches with the store. Hmm. 
My name is Ian, not many of uh, those around, so if I ever hear Ian, they are most likely talking to me. I don't know. I'm, I'm not against showing my face. If there's ever a reason to, I probably will. I did almost accidentally start a live stream on my phone yesterday and thought I revealed my face, but luckily I didn't. Um, <laughs> but yeah. It's just, it's just more I just don't really see the benefit of doing it, to be honest with you. It doesn't seem like a huge advantage because I'm not going to show my face in content in a way. But I'm not against doing it one day if there's a reason to, you know. I don't really do enough interesting stuff in my life to do like a vlogging channel, otherwise I'd probably do one of those or something. I have tried it in the past and I, I felt like there's only so many vlogs you can do of going to Wilco and Greg's, so... Um, they're both supermarket. They're, they're both shops in the UK, one of them's a bakery and one of them's a... Well, was a supermarket shut down. RIP. We still need to do a road of all the shut down UK shops and US ones, I guess, like Blockbuster and stuff. But we still need a we still need a we still need a road on the city of like closed down stores. Uh, not a city, a road of closed down stores because it would be so good for nostalgia, Toys of Us and stuff. Right there, you go. Um, we need to do something there. What could we do there? How would I do like a trolley or like a basket thing? Because you don't really need one of those actually in here. But yeah, well, you don't actually need one of those in a thing, do you? A basket. Well, you could have. Um, Greg's is good. <laughs> Not enough. Well, to be honest, most of the vlogs were just me vlogging in my parents' car. But I'm a lot more like... I'm a lot more... Uh, I try and be a lot more private now than back then. I wouldn't really want to show where I live and stuff, you know? I mean, even then, I didn't show, like, directly my house or, like, vlog much at home. But I just... I don't know. People would know the city and stuff I live near, probably, and at least. And I don't know what I want to do. I'm going to head out. It was fun watching the stream. Um, hopefully it picks back up again. Thank you. I, I don't know how much longer we're going to be live for it, uh, nonetheless. Um, I mean, I'm, I'm like... I'm basically like home alone till like six-ish, so I'm doing nothing until at least then. Because all my family are at work or, or busy. Um, but <laughs> I don't know if I've got enough energy to stream that long. The block of redstone, block of redstone. What about getting some like block of gold and diamonds? Block of gold. I should just do block of. Emerald. How do you spell emerald? I know it's showing up, but I really want emerald. Okay. I need to learn how to spell. Um. Right, if I power a redstone block, it doesn't. Okay. Well, that that idea, there goes that idea. <laughs> But well, we could we could do still do this though. My idea for this would be that it'd be where you'd like buy lottery tickets and stuff. Cool. Um. But yeah, hopefully it does pick up a bit again. All right, I've got to get to the farm. A uh, nice. Uh, yeah. Thanks for talking, Dan. You're fine. If you're ever bored and you ever want to pop in the streams, feel free. I'm pretty much all, I'm pretty like I'm live stream. I live way too. I'm I am live way too much. If I'm not on Discord, I'm basically live streaming most of the time. It was lovely speaking to you both, you and Ian. 
I'll see you guys all uh, next time. Stealthy, is it now just me and you in the street? No, I think there's still like one other person here, right? <laughs> Me, you, and the person that was talking about how good Greg's was. I can't remember the name of. But Greg's is good. Iron golems equals... That looks like a glass. Oh, it, what, iron golems equals... A cup? Hang on, what's the time right now, chat? Oh, the, the beta, the snapshot isn't probably out yet. I'm assuming, hopefully, somebody will randomly come into chat and be like, there's a new snapshot out if the snapshot comes out, but it probably won't. Um, Stealthy, what do you think? Do you think this looks better now? When it did? I mean, I like the outside more that you've done, but do you think the... That could be for, like, um, stuff that's only sold behind the counter, was my logic. I don't know why why there's fence posts, but we're keeping them. Must meant to have been something. Oh, there is also fridges, okay. But no, there's a proper fridge or freezer area. Um, we can still do bookshelves there, maybe. There's still a lot of empty space, but I don't know what else to really add. iPixel Gaming YouTube. It's a trash can. Oh, you're saying that iron golems are trash? Eh, no, they're pretty handy for getting iron. And I've died to like four of them this week, so... Or two of them this week. Yeah, okay, awesome. I don't know why I only ask stealthy questions sometimes. It's because he's in the game as well. And I know he's always, like, here. I really need to try work on a video. I haven't posted in, like, eight days. It's been way too long. <laughs> I just don't know what to post. I have no motivation to post anything right now, but it's been so long. They ruined your hardcore world? Yeah, like twice. But to be fair, so is a creeper once and a zombie once. I can't do this properly. I need to make sure I'm grabbing every single colour, otherwise this is not going to work. Okay, hold on. Do, 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 do. Have we got every colour? Are we missing a colour? I feel like we're missing one colour. You know, we'll just roll with it. Do, 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 J2O spritzer. I spent loads of money on drinks. I treated myself. And I also bought some Dr. Pepper earlier in the week, but I've already drank that apart from I've got I accidentally picked up one non-zero Dr. Pepper, and I really only like drinking drinks that have zero. We're gonna get rid of that one, I think. I only like drinking drinks that have like zero, like no sugar. Apart from if it's like certain stuff like what I just said, like the Luke said zero sugar that I got, but the J2O probably isn't. Um but I've got to drink the Dr. Pepper. <laughs> But I've drank way too much sugary stuff recently. But I, I picked up one zero Dr. Pepper and one non-zero Dr. Pepper because it was two for three quid. And I didn't realise that one of them was zero and one of them wasn't. Which is kind of a little bit annoying. They were right next to each other, so I didn't check. And neither did my mum. We just both assumed I picked up the same thing. <laughs> I know I'm dumb though, but... I will, I will drink it. I'm just sort of putting it off a little bit. I love Dr. Pepper, but... Off the, I'm putting off drinking the zero one. Non, sorry, the non zero one. Oh, 
What can I do here? There must be something else we're missing. Um... I'm a bit shocked that the stream feels like it's died because I would have assumed it would have been picking up around this time. I guess it's because there was only like two or three active viewers and two of them have left. But... So there's only like four active viewers and two of them have left. No, that doesn't really work. I don't know what else we could add in this space. I don't really just want to add another shelf. Um, we could add an area to like buy flowers, maybe. Someone will come along. Yeah, I hope so. I, I could do a going to get some water. So I'm going to do that. I, I want to go get a fizzy drink, but I, need to, I haven't drunk any water today, so I'm going to go drink some water first. Can you guys still hear the music in the background? It doesn't look like it's playing anymore. It should be, though. Or maybe it is. Maybe it's just very quiet. Very quiet song. Yeah, it is still playing. Okay. Right, I'll go grab some water, and then we'll come back and continue streaming for a little bit. I'm not sure how much longer we're going to be live for, unless it picks up a bit again. It has already probably been like a two hour stream, right? So we're probably like no longer at the top of people's sub feeds. We're back in a bit. I'm really hoping for something cool in today's Bedrock Beta that I can make a video out of, like a new command or something. Because I really need to post something soon, but I've got no inspiration. I don't think there's going to be a Java snapshot today. Because they've been doing pre-releases. Right, I'm going to do the plant area. And then if chat if it doesn't pick up at all, I think we're going to call it there. Because it has been like a two-hour stream. I didn't realise you've been live for two hours. I mean, I could go for like longer and longer, but I think I'm quite happy with how the stream's done. At the beginning, I really wasn't, but it seemed to pick up for a bit. So I'm probably going to go in a few minutes before it dies completely and I kind of regret going live and start hating the stream again. Um. Yeah. We made some decent progress today, but we still haven't worked on the restaurant. We worked on the kitchen, didn't we? We haven't worked on the actual restaurant tables. I got distracted from working on this. Uh, and I didn't even finish the offices, I don't think. I, I, I did most of it. But I need a bit of a change from the offices, though. But there's still a lot of empty space in that building, so I need to work out what to do with that. Whether to do more shelves or what. Um, there's still quite a lot of empty space here as well. Yo, you recreated your old video. Do you remember me? What old video? 
Hani ya onun dayım simsi var ya. I'm the only one watching. I'm pretty sure Stealthy is still here because he's still in the game. He might not be though. It's chill. I'm not that fast on streaming for much longer. Oh, now it's starting to pick up. Now I say that. Hello, Haley. What's up? Do you want to stay on or are you going to come off? Um, probably going to go chill, watch some YouTube soon. I might stay live for like another five minutes though because one or two people just popped in. Uh, but I'm probably going to go watch some YouTube. I need to really work on a video, but I've got no motivation. Oh, I've been doing the city streams every day for like the last five... Uh, five or so years, probably longer than that, probably 10 years. Like, not every day for 10 years, though, but every day. I've been doing this pretty much every day for the last couple of months. <laughs> it's not a new video, I do. The QA part, no one really has asked any questions. It's not really ended up being a QA. Um, I. What? IGM? What does IGM mean? But yeah, no, I, I need to work out. So I kind of need to go work on a video, but I probably won't work on a video. Um, but I probably will leave the world. I don't like leaving my PC on for too long. Because it wastes electric. And even though my mother's not here at the moment, she gets mad when I uh, waste electricity. <laughs> Which is fair enough. She's the one paying, well, her and my dad are on the one paying the bill, right? Can I see your city? Uh, it's like massive. I've been working on this for years, so probably not the whole thing. We, we, I want to do a city tour eventually, though. But I could maybe fly over some of it, but it's going to take me like 20 minutes to offer. It'll probably an hour. It took me an hour the other day to do a stream where I toured it. So. I want to eventually do a video where I toured it, though. In which case, then obviously, yeah. Sorry, I would love to tour it for you, but we'd be here all day and a lot of people have already seen what it looks like. But maybe at some point I'll do another stream or eventually a video tour. The thing is, people say they want to see what it looks like, but I feel like no one's actually going to end up watching that video. Um, maybe, Haley. Maybe. I'll probably keep it up for like a day or two, but I think I'd, I probably would eventually delete it. I don't really feel like this has been the greatest of streams either. It's been pretty dead, but also... Um, uh, I don't really feel like I've been in the best of moods, so it might not be a good one to keep up, to be honest. But maybe, we'll see. We're missing the other blue flower, aren't we? Did we not get all the flowers? Uh, we're just missing that one. We've been waiting for years. I mean, I've given tours like multiple times in these streams. <laughs> no, I feel like most of the active viewers have already seen the whole city. What's your brother's name in real life? I don't like giving my family members names away because they don't they don't do content. Like I'm the one who's chose to put all my information on the or well, this like as much information as I share on the internet. I feel like it's unfair to share my brother's. He's got an actual job. He's like an accountant. I don't want to ruin that. <laughs> um, but we just called him Webby. Believe it or not, that's not his actual name. It's a nickname, but um, that's what everybody in the stream refers to him as. And what I refer to him as. To be honest, I, I call him that in real life a fair amount now. <laughs> yeah, but there's never going to be a final city tour. That's the problem. There's just too much like going on.
This is the supermarket we've been working on. Though. Well, the last couple of street, well, probably the last couple of months, to be honest, because I took a massive break from it. But very recently, we come back and worked on it more. Wait, what's Stealthy? Is Stealthy doing the football stadium again? I assume so. Um, it's TP to Stealthy. Uh, I forget his name. Not actually Stealthy anymore. I don't even know if ever. Why can't I TP to him? I just typed it out properly, didn't I? Oh, I put a symbol at the end. My bad. Hello. I don't know what you're doing. Oh, he probably he probably is looking at the thing from afar. I am gonna miss the. I'm gonna miss this if it's gone, but I can also understand why it's gone. Why it's going? We can build it again, I'm sure. And to be honest, the staircase doesn't even work anyway, so. There's just going to be a random Dan TDM lab, though, underneath here, which is underneath the football stadium, which is going to be kind of funny. At the moment, it's underneath the skyscraper, but eventually there's just going to be a random Dan TDM lab underneath the uh... <laughs> football stadium. Why are you saying is my brother's name what? You caught me? Wait, what were you doing? Oh, you're just building something. You're just blocking something out, are you? I have no idea. We need to, we do eventually we should just make a whole road for skyscrapers because it feels so weird just having one or two random skyscrapers like next to each other. I really like this skyscraper, but the problem, like, and I want to keep it there. This one I'm going to keep here, but it just feels kind of out of place. And I also can't be bothered to finish the interior of it. But that's why if we had a whole road of exterior skyscrapers, it, it would kind of work eventually as well. I'm going to keep that one though. I do, I really do like the look of this one, but I, I understand why it's got to go. It shouldn't have had to if the person who built the football stadium didn't build it in such an awkward bloody place, but... I'm making the exact same thing. You haven't got to. As well, hold up, as what? As this or as the skyscraper? I'm confused. Right, I think I might call the stream there, to be honest with you, unless people really want me to continue. It's been like two hours, and I'm starting to feel a bit bored. And I feel like we've run out of topics to talk about. We, we've talked about how dead the streams are, which we normally talk about, and we've talked about Minecraft updates, which we normally talk about. <laughs> <sighs> you could probably use structure blocks if you are going to do it. Unless you want to build it slightly better and different. There is already a structure for the shape saved, but I don't know what it's called. Otherwise, I'd tell you. Go till 3 p.m. I need to add donuts to the description anyway. So I could do that, and then by then it probably would almost be 3 p.m. <laughs> we made some decent progress this week. I think we probably have. Two more streams on this build. 
I might not bother doing the toilets. I feel like we built enough toilets in this world. If we can get some tables done in here. I should really try to do the tables now, but I really don't know if I can be bothered. But if we do one more stream and probably two more streams on this supermarket, one for the tables, one to maybe finish some stuff in here and in here. Um, and then we've got to do something with the outside where we do a path all the way around or like something. I don't know. I don't like the Starbucks. It looks really good, but it looks way too high. Like, way too... But it match, kind of matches that, I guess. But it doesn't match the supermarket at all. Because I was going to say, should we build a Costa or a Starbucks next to it? Because some supermarkets have them next to it. But I just realised there is a Starbucks and it looks awful. Or a Greg's or something. It doesn't look awful, it just doesn't blend in with the supermarket. I'm going to block you. I'm going to be brutally honest. It feels like they... It feels like they don't really care because you're the one spamming. <laughs> uh, can you make a school? We do have one. But I never finished it. It's just such a big build to commit to. Is it not 3pm yet? I could have sworn it was gone 4. Oh, 4pm stealthy means, not 3pm. That makes more sense. Did Selfie say 4pm or did, did Selfie say 3pm? Because I definitely read what Selfie said as 3pm. Did he just say the wrong time? Yeah, he did say the wrong time. Okay. Selfie's still living in Spain time, I guess. If Spain's an hour behind us, I don't know if they are. I think they're ahead of us, actually. Not you, Dan. Oh, I thought you were talking to me about making a school. Attention, uh, from, uh, emojis make thumbnails so attention grabbing. Yeah, this is the first stream we tried or one where yesterday was. Can you make an NFL stadium? I'm not American. I don't have a clue what one looks like. Um, Maybe eventually. But we're only just working on a soccer stadium at the moment. Well, I say we. Stealthy's working on a soccer stadium at the moment. Um... But maybe eventually, it might be better to get someone who's American to do that, though, because they'll probably have more of, like, an idea about it. I need to get ready soon. What are you doing? Are you, are you, going, are you going out again at, like, 7pm to eat or something? I swear you go out every day at, like, 7pm. I doubt you're going out at 7pm. I just assume you went out to eat because you went out to eat one day, I think, because I actually know what you do, but... <laughs> and it says, like, soccer, but it wouldn't be on a Monday, would there? Football, but with like more seats. Um, it's much bigger and has uh, poles for goals. Um, well, to be honest, I want to do a lot of stadiums, so maybe eventually. But I'm not very good at them, and I think I, I, I'm gonna like. We'll just focus on the soccer one for now, but yeah, and maybe eventually. We could do like a basketball one, a baseball one, a. Uh, Running track or like Olympic Stadium eventually as well. Um, so yeah, maybe. I think I think Stealthy wants to build another soccer stadium, though, don't you? Stealthy and have like two rival teams in the city as well. But like, we have an ice skating place, but it's not really very good. I built I built the ice skating place, but yeah, no, maybe maybe. Honestly, the soccer stadium is starting to look like an NFL one. I don't know what the difference is. With, uh, the, the soccer stadium originally had like a gap in the corner, I think. But it just kind of looked really weird. So if, did we fit it in or did we not fit it in? I don't know what stealth, if Stealthy's done anything to it yet. But it just looked kind of... No, there is a gap. I think most soccer stadiums have a gap in the corner, don't they? Or some do. But I'm guessing eventually we're going to do something with it because it feels kind of like weird on Minecraft City. We might not, though. I'm not sure what the plan is. We could just clone the 
stadium and make it into an NF1 one, but I don't know if you I don't think you can fit this much of a structure in a structure block, so we can't really clone it. Unless we did it part by part. I don't know. We've still got a lot to do with this first before we worry about another one. But maybe eventually. There's also like rugby, there's like cricket, there's um stuff like what's the one called where you like throw stuff? Javelin? There's a, there's a couple of other ones, like a long jump. The, the, you could do loads of different stadiums and sports and stuff eventually. Gymnastics. There must be other sport. Tennis? We haven't got a tennis court. There's so many sports you could do. No way to fit in a structure block. Yeah, you'd have to do like six for like the, the middle part. I mean, the exit, the outside part, you'd do differently. I don't know what rugby looks like. Can you make a FNAF thing? Um, someone else asked that, but I don't know. I'm not really into FNAF. We could do. No. I mean, I'm going to be honest with you guys. We don't really have enough support on these streams to really do these crazy large builds people want. Like, if we if we got, like, 10 times the amount of viewers, like, if we had 20, 30 viewers or whatever, these streams, or even just a little bit more of an active chat, we could do some more crazy builds or just do a lot more builds. But I don't really want to do a stadium because, like, this, this supermarket alone isn't that large and it's took me probably, like, 10 streams uh, throughout the years because... Like it's it's been the last three streams we've done recently plus off stream, but that was that's without all the exterior, the original build and stuff. Like th this is probably coming close to like seven to ten streams, if not more, that we spent on this. If you include the car park, if you include the um, garage or petrol st gas station. Um, so I'm I, I I would love to do crazier builds, but I don't think there's enough support on the stream. Like there's not enough people watching and stuff to really justify doing like these crazy long like 12, 24 hour streams. Um, which we'd probably need to do to do some of these larger builds because otherwise we're just going to spend like f four weeks, a month, two months of a sh of streams on like one build. You know, it's why I stream so often because otherwise we'd never get any progress made. But um, but yeah, I don't. I'm not sure if I if I want to do like these. I mean, we will eventually do them, but it just doesn't seem like there's a lot of support at the moment for these streams. It's only like f there's always only like four people or less watching. It feels. I send the stream to like a hundred people. I mean, if you want to, I, I don't know. I, I can keep going if people want. I'm just kind of feel, I'm starting to feel a bit bored. Feels like we kind of ran out of stuff to talk about. <laughs> In my opinion. What is 768 million plus 440, plus 743, plus 8,000? I don't know. Well, it'd be... 768 million still, but it'd be 907, 974,584 and then plus the 783, which I can't be able to do in my head. It'd be fun adding RTX to your world. Yeah, it, the problem is my PC crashes too much of it. I do have an RTX com capable computer, but it crashes too much, so I don't use it. I occasionally look around it with it on, but I don't, I, mean, I don't use it to build or anything. I'll ask Alexa, why do you even need to know that answer to that question? <laughs> I'm going to add this donor to the description from earlier and then we'll decide what to do. 
if we're going to continue or not. Because then if I add it now, then we can just end the stream if I feel like it. I'm not sure yet if I want to end the stream. There's only like three people watching now. I think I think it probably is about time to end the stream. But let me add this first and we'll decide for sure. Uh, let's do this. I use better RTX. Don't you have to have RTX for better RTX? Trying to get, trying to get a better math. You probably don't need to know that complicated math though. And if you do, just ask a calculator or YouTube, and it's not really going to improve you. Make the pyramids. Yeah, that'd be cool. We just need to find somewhere where it really fits. Is the problem. I, I the pro see at the moment I'm trying to get existing builds like done so we can eventually do a tour. Like, I'm trying to improve ex existing builds a bit. But yeah, no, I, I, that does sound like a fun build. I will give you it. The pi building pyramids would sound cool. Probably wouldn't be like a recreation of, 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 of like actual ones, but we could do like pyramids. Kind of cool to have some mountains maybe around it or nearby that had like houses on. Or like some sort of shelters on. I like that idea, but I want to get some of the existing builds finished first. It allows you to use RTX without RTX compatible. That's not RTX then. But the stream has kind of gotten quiet and I'm getting a bit bored, so I am going to dip, but we'll probably be live again tomorrow um, at some point, maybe even later today, probably not later today, We're probably going to keep it to one stream per day. Um, hold up one second. Is that a text in a group chat? No, that's a text in here. Um, right. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Why is bro on his phone? Because my mother. My mother, um, text me. And, and also because I did, I, and, the, and also because the stream chat's dead, but also, yeah. How do they know you're on your phone? Well, that's a fair point, but they knew probably because I got a notification, but that doesn't mean I was on my phone. I, I was on my phone to reply to the notification. I am not also streaming on Twitch, no. They just guessed because I said who texted me, I guess. Right, anyway, bye everybody. I'm going to go answer this text. Without being judged. I left before I got kicked. A. Hey. Man's too scared of that kick button. Bit like I'm too scared to stream on kick. Let's make sort of sure we're still on full screen. We are awesome. Right, bye everybody. I'm not actually scared to stream on kick. I just heard it's quite toxic.